through my head. Wish I could say, okay, you win. Now pass through. Smash through. Stupid, I ate my apple fritter and forgot to throw away the bag. Ah, damn. That's okay. Because today, we're fucking back. It's not a Friday stream, but it's better. It's a Saturday stream, and I can focus. I can actually get shit done this time. So who's some... Who's... Let's play some video games. I made sure that everyone was done. <laughs> oh my god. I had Cajun fries for lunch. I know it sounds weird that it's just like, Kevin, your lunch is just fries? Just Cajun fries. Ver vagina! My, lun my lunch was just fries. Hi, Sora! Hi! Oh my gosh, hello! Yeah, I had fries for lunch. Except it was Cajun fries. They were delicious. I love Cajun fries. I also brought something on the way back. Pre-stream music? Yeah. I mean, technically, I always use pre-stream music. I just don't usually keep it on this long. Because, like, I'm not sure if it would work out that well every time. Probably Seraph Somnia. If not that one, uh, good luck. Sorry. I cannot help you! Big thumbs up. And a, and a big old grin. A big old smile with my teeth. Alright, let's get you working. Thank you! It's Nellward! I love Nellward. He is my favorite musician. Second only to Soil and Pimp Sessions. No, I don't want to open up the third game. I want to open up this one. I figured. Oh, I think this might be a little too quiet. Let me check the... audio settings. No, that's up all the way. Oh, wait, hang on. Here's the better question. Is the uh, is the audio for the game good for you guys? Is it nice and loud enough that you can enjoy it? Or do you need me to turn it up more? I feel like I need to. Yeah, I've noticed. Uh, I've, I've been, like, messing with it for a friend. Because I've been... On the side, I streamed uh, Sonic Rush and Sonic Colors. I will say this, I'm not a fan of the Sonic series. I don't like Sonic. It... 47's good. For Weed Day, 47%. Let's play some Mega Man on Weed Day with my favorite weed snack. A thing I... Weed is a thing I definitely have had. So I have some good news. It's not that we're starting a new game. That's not true. And it's not the fact that I was playing Sonic Color Sonic Rush. I do want to stream Sonic Rush, though. One, because it's a DS game, but also because it's like, genuinely, out of all the Sonic games, I do like the Sonic Rush trilogy. Pseudo trilogy, the duology. It's not bad. It's actually what I consider some of like the Sonic series' like better games. 
Which is funny, because it's like, but Kevin? But, but Gungnir? Why don't, why don't you like the, the Sonic series is for, like, the fucking Switch? Or, or whatever. It's like, well, do you like Sonic Forces? Do you, do you consider Sonic Generations worthy of getting a remake on the Switch with an added Shadow DLC? Why not just give us a new Shadow game? I mean, this is basically just, like, the existing Sonic fandom, and parentheses, not me. I'm not in there. I've never been inside of there. It's the Sonic fan going like, Oh man! And Shadow! Sonic X Shadow Generations! Finally a Shadow game! It's like, that's not enough. Don't be satisfied in that. A redo over, maybe, but like, maybe just a better way of handling it. Or just, you know, do the thing that Sega's already doing where they just absorb more fan games into itself officially. Cough, cough. Capcom could learn from that. A better silver game might be a good one. I don't think 06 needs to be needs to be remade because 06 is like, you know, 06. I mean, at that point, you're asking for a Sonic 24 or a Sonic 25. Uh, I think, as someone who cares a lot about game design and game development, I think that Sonic... I think the Sonic game could use another Rush-like game that focuses specifically on being kind of one of those, like, uh, funky side-scrolling using, like, dashes and everything. And, like, Sonic Rush and its other games, especially Sonic Colors, was a lot about going fast. And so those, like, slow segments of you waiting for a puzzle were very rare. But, like, you could play through Sonic Colors in, like, a... I, I could play through Sonic Colors in a single stream, and then you would see it from start to end, and you'd be like, wow, that was Sonic Colors. It wouldn't even be an hour. It would be, like, 40 minutes because of how fast I play it. It's, a, it's an easy and fast game when you know it. So just... There's... There are ways to make really good games for a character whose entire gimmick is going fast. I mean, if they didn't, if they didn't want their fandom making fast games, then they shouldn't have made a character whose entire gimmick is being the fastest thing alive. Just saying. That that's like, that's like setting yourself up for failure. They're just lucky that they got this far along, and Sonic fan and Sonic's own team is like, hey, what if we just had like a Twitter page dedicated to making fun of Sonic, by Sonic by doing public Q&As. Now, they're not bad Q&As, but it's like... Yeah, it's a lot of pandering, but not a lot of GAME. Hey, look at that up there! What is that? What the fuck is that? Yeah! Uh, holy shit. Uh, it's, it's appearing in my hand! Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, mm. oh, Ferrero's Day. Oh, now I love you. Oh, oh my water. It's actually hot out today. For Rocher. It's so damn good. I read... I read a post that someone was like, I imagine For Rocher is what Willy Wonka's chocolates taste like from the movies. And like, I eat For Rocher's, as you've known, lore-wise. And it's like... They, yeah! That, that checks out. But if that was like an insult, it's like, what do you mean? <laughs> Ferrero Shays are fucking tasty. They're expensive, but they're fucking tasty. <sighs> Wash it down with some water. Oh, Sora, if you're hungry, go eat. It's like 
five. No, it's like seven where you are. Like, you're gonna have to eat dinner. Last we tried, uh, I tried to fight this guy and died. Luckily, I have a Ferrer Rocher profile picture now. That makes me infinitely stronger, in my opinion. <laughs> oh shit. I can do this. Woo. I, I genuinely couldn't begin to tell you how that could be an insult. It don't make sense. Shit! I bet their ass was thinking like, oh, it was like the one, it was like Willy's chocolate experience. You know, the one, you know, the funny meme, but it's like, no, I, I think that Ferrero Shea is being used as a benchmark for Wonka chocolates is actually such a compliment. <laughs> okay, so we're not getting the reward here for a while, which makes me mad because I want it now is what I would be saying if I was going to actually wait that long. No. I'm playing on Legend mode. I'm playing for keeps, baby. Oh, yeah! Ah, oh, yeah! This is happening! Ah, oh, yeah! This is happening! Oops. A little too early for me. We're winning. We are so winning. We're we're so winning. Not bad. I'll take that. Now is it useful right now? No. <laughs> Not really. I'll take it though. All right. So let's see where we left off. Uh. Libra Scales has gone into the nerd emoji and is constantly irradiating kids with TikTok brain rot. To save the day, I have to get into the algorithm and beat the shit out of him and kill him in not Minecraft, but real life. I need to save these kids from an education of Rizzler TikTok compilations. Luckily, I can go from here. I'm, it still fucks me up that the principal was like, we d we have greenlit the use of a system that pulses radio radiation into our kids to make them better at school, which is like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? You know. What now? Pat wasn't in the classroom. What if something happened to him? You can think about it all you want, but you can't do a thing about him right now. We've got to focus on beating Libra first. Yeah. Do you really think you can? 
That voice. It's me, man with huge toned butt cheeks. It's that guy from before with the huge butt cheeks. Hmm. We've got our hands full with Libra, and now we've got to deal with him. Grin. Hey, what's your deal, punk? You working for Libra? You won't get away this time. You know who else is working with Libra? Geo. I, I, I can't win. Because I lost last time. His cheeks! They're too... Thick. Don't be stupid. What the fuck? But... What about your friends? They're not thick! What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't want to help out my with my friends when they have a lack of ass cheekage. Look at this guy, he's ginormous! Are you done? <laughs> Take this! My mom's special technique! <laughs> Squee! <laughs> It so much! I can't think much more of Kame! Where am I? Is this... the Omori dimension? Oh, it is. I guess that guy sent me to the Omori dimension. Hey, you're- you're not really in the Omori dimension. That's terrible. Is it supposed to be this empty? Geo. Holy shit, the big men. After coming all this way, are you giving up? That shadow. Those ass cheeks. He's so thin, yet so... Big and men. It's that big man from before! You are not this weak, of this we are sure. You keep talking about my power, but what in the world can I do about anything? Will you truly give up here? Can you not hear them? The voices that cry out for you? The voices? IP. Huh? EIP address 69.420.1.65 West Pennsylvania Why is she saying my IP address? I'm just an ordinary, weak elementary kid. I'm just a little man. But you're a big man. That child believes in you. She will believe until the bitter end. <clears throat> I ask once more. Geo, will you give up here? I... I want to protect. That girl believes in me. I want to protect her. Finally. Finally those words pass your lips. If you fight for someone important to you, your strength becomes unrivaled. That is the mark of a human. Fighting for someone? The preparations are complete. The power of the stars, the star force, is now accessible to you. <laughs> Take notes, the Star Force is part of the admin's abilities that let you do this, but the strength that Geo gets over the rest of the series does not need the Star Force. This is just the hero's awakening. So as I say this into the camera very loudly, the Star Force is not what drives Geo to protect everyone.
it's his will. He's fucking strong. And you don't keep that in Endwave. What is happening? Where is that power coming from? Th this kid. He really hates Endwave. Oh. I'll protect her. Just watch me. I impossible. Ah! <sighs> oh. This. This is the Star Force. With this, I can beat him. Interesting. This time, I won't lose. Before you use the Star Force in battle, I am Wooga! Wooga! What you need to know is, I'm fucking strong! A bit of fire for today. A little bit of bullets. The mm, minion or the mob for today, good sir. Ah, sloppy. Feels like I might have been too loud reading through all that. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm certain it won't be horribly loud. And I won't feel embarrassed. Oh well. <sighs> I'll catch you for this. He got away. The Star Force. What a power. With this, we can beat anyone. Yeah. This is also all thanks to her. Thanks, Luna. I got stronger because of you. Now it's my turn. I'll protect you. Count on it. Okay, now to head for the emoji. Mega Man. Uh, the nerd emoji. It's beaming. You got mail about your newfound powers. Wow. Technically, we should be strong enough to do the dungeon without worry. Technically. However, I don't mind seeing if there's anything I can do over here. No, I think we're good. I think we're ready. Because one thing I will tell you is that this dungeon's boss is hard and annoying. Oh, I should see if I can leave the school now, actually. Can I do that? Leave all the kids to their weird TikTok brain radiation? Nope? Okay. I guess it's gotta be like after this segment, this scenario.
I I also hope Capcom brings back the Star Force series. If not for like a trilogy collection, the legacy collection on like a Switch. I want like a new game. Or and I've been like thinking of these myself in my own free time. I've been thinking of two other side projects, if not a Star Force 4. One of them was to do like a network transmission inspired 2D platformer for Star Force, which I feel like would work way better. Well, those are cute names. I like Cozy Koopa, that's cute. I think Star Force would also do well if it had a mobile game. And not like, not like X-Dive. No, that that would be a little awkward. I would say that like the mobile game for Star Force should be done in like portrait mode, so it's a vertical styled app. And it would basically just be the combat of the game. But like isolated to like, you know, playing in that mode. So like all combat would be shot from like this vertical angle that the camera for this game is. And then, I don't know exactly how I would do the buttons, but I had an idea of, like, it's still set up like you were playing on, like, a Game Boy or DS. So basically, you're just playing, like, the DS's combat on your phone, which I have done before on my phone through emulators like this. But I think Capcom would do really well if they brought in, like, a new Mega Man mobile game, and it was specifically just Star Force. I think Star Force is really good. Its combat system is actually pretty well expandable. I mean, that's what Endwave tried to do, where they brought back Net Navis as bosses. I actually think bringing Net Navis back as bosses is a bad idea. I know, weird, weird take. But like, hear me out on this one. I think that Star Force 4's bosses should actually be more in reference to, um, like, the star, the, the star droids from, like, the Mega Man Game Boy series. So, like, if we had some variant of, like, the star droids, and then maybe a redo on, like, what they tried to do with the second game, where a lot of the bosses are either the star droids or based off of certain different mythologies. Not one mythology, not... Not, not like, uh, cryptids, but, like, all mythologies. Not to point at myself and be like, like, Norse mythology, like Odin, like Gungnir Odin, like the guy who's streaming. No, I mean, like, you know, if you were to do other folklores, mythologies, and whatever legends, like, I had an idea. Because it was implied Star Force 4 would take place in, like, Geo's high school years. And I, it doesn't say when. But I wanted to make Zack not a terrible person by giving him a boyfriend as, like, a character arc. And his boyfriend would be, like, a delinquent who has his own waveform. Uh, I don't know what I would call him. But, like, he would be in reference to, like, Captain Ahab and Moby, Moby Dick by, like, making him, like, a big whale dude. So I think it would be awesome if Zack's, like, fictional boyfriend or whatever that I'm making up is, like, a big white whale dude who's also, like, a punk. Like, it's like if you turned Josuke Higashikata from part four of Jotaro into a whale and then said, like, yeah, also it's Zack's boyfriend and Zack gets, like, a character arc where he learns to not be such a nerd and actually tries to have a fucking personality. Why not have Star Force Mega Man travel to other planets? That is also what I thought about. You have no idea like how much I've thought about for the for like the first idea. Not not Star Force 4, but for like the network transmission inspired one, I wanted Geo to like tra to like travel to other planets in like a kind of pseudo filler style where he would go to, like, Planet FM. Because Planet AM is gone. Quietly says that out loud. Uh, he would go to, like, Planet FM, and he would take missions from the Sages, the big men, to, like, go to other planets 
and, like, continue what his father has wanted him to do, because, like, back on Earth, his father creates a system so he can try again with contacting aliens. Because in, like, Star Force 3, technology goes crazy different. You'll see. Let's play Mega Man Star Force. There's so much that I would love to do. I just need to, like, get into actually modeling. As for, like, how am I going to do coding? I don't know. I, I'm not a game... Well, like, I, I want to be a game developer, but I don't have enough under my belt to be like, Hey, I know how to code a, a mobile game and a platformer at the same time. Yeah! That's a good one! I want him to fight Cerberuses and... Well, the Minotaur is technically what we already had, but like a different Minotaur, or at least some spin on it. Like having Bud having like a second variant of Taurus Fire that's more Minotaur-like would be sick. I also think it would be cool to like use other mythologies. Like, Phil like the Philippines used to have mythology. Until something happened. Coughs loudly. But uh, we used to have a mythology with all kinds of interesting cryptids of our own. And I think that would be a great one to like look into as well. God, there's so many like great pieces of media. So loud. Go away. Gets rid of you with my gun bullet. No! Well, it's not gonna hurt me while we wait, so I might as well fuck around. So, let's see. Who else would be really good for mythology? Hypothetical mythology. Because I wanted to bring back the Staroids. I want to, to do, like, the rest of- I have a book! Hang on. I have a book of mythologies with me. Ooh! Egypt! That's always a classic. Egypt is always really fun to do. You could always, like, you could always give it a try with, like, Egyptian mythology. Because then you would, uh, you'd be able to get, like, really cool fights, like, Geo versus fucking Anubis. <laughs> and then they would make use of, like, the Poison Pharaoh. Or, um, some Japanese mythology would be nice. So you could use, like, uh... I don't know, there's, like, so many- there's so many different, like, pantheons you could, like, pick from for really good character design if you don't feel like... It is cop-out, I will say. Making characters based off of pantheons is a very cop-out thing that a lot of people do, and people don't stop doing. You could literally, like, Google up any character name and people would... I... Odin, yeah! Uh, I imagine she fought the Hydra. Dude, a Hydra boss would be sick. I won't spoil anything regarding Hydra-like bosses, but we do fight one. And, like, it's so sick! There's so many cool things you could do for a Mega Man game. Tanukis. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Shiva. Oh, hang on. Was this one? Judy or Christian? No. No. Hindu. A Hindu could have a bunch of cool bosses. I did study a bit of, um... Not ideology, per se, but I did, like, used to do a bunch of study on one of their most prominent symbols, which was, uh, the Vajra. Which was a weapon, a multi- like a multi-purpose weapon that was wielded by a lot of like uh, figures in Hinduism that represented like like wisdom and, and some form of like transcending of uh, I don't know it's been a long time that was like an old college paper I did more Celtic enemy yeah Celtic would be cool. There's so many cool shits! The world is full of so much, so many cool things! 
that, like, you could do anything and it would be pretty awesome, but, like, it works better if it's space-esque. Or at least some variant of it. So, like, the Constellations was already a really easy one to do. But we could all- I mean, like, the Norse mythology itself is also pretty, like, star-based. It's called the Polar Star Mythology, anyway. Like, oh my god, there's so much! What to do? Everything to do. Let's kill this guy. Damn, I missed the counter. You'd be surprised how many mythologies are actually so similar that they feel like... Like... <sighs> oh. I mean... Okay, like... I tried with Record of Ragnarok. I'm not saying it's a bad show. But it's very slow for me. In like a not fun way. Where I'm a guy who really likes fighting. And so with the first episode teasing, like, this huge fight with a man and Thor, like, I respect North Norse mythology a shit ton, so when I heard, like, they're using Thor for this one, I was like, OH MY GOD! His hammer looks really weird. And he looks very thin. And not like Thor. And then they, they clash once. And then that's the end of the first episode, and I get it's the first episode, but like, dude, I'm looking forward to the fighting. And I I actually got so bored I started hitting, like, the, uh, the skip buttons to, like, fast forward through the episode. Because it's so much talking. I don't mind, like, audience banter during, like, heavy tournament dark battles, but like, dude, I want to watch people fight. I want to watch people fight because it was awesome. Fuck you. Adam could be a neat take. It could be. But I think maybe not... Maybe not Judeo-Christian. Oh, I already went this way. I think there are many great takes for what kind of, like, uh, religious deities could fight Geo. Or any mythologies. You gotta also remember, we can't always be taken from gods. Like, it's also a good idea to take from other existing things like cryptids. Like, if Geo had to fight the Mothman from, uh, Virginia, West Virginia, that would be tight. I'm up for that. Geo versus the Mothman. But you gotta be, you gotta be creative with it. Because they don't really, they don't work the same. Wood and electric, they don't they don't really work that same way. Beowulf, maybe. You could also Ooh! We could borrow. We could like kind of imply that there's like a a return to the Boktai crossover by having them fight like a new version of Jormungandr and uh the rest of those ones. God. There's so much! So much to do. So much to to Mega Man! I love this franchise. Shit! Woo! I love this franchise so much. It's not fair. Why can't Omega Sis be real? I missed? I got hit? Huh? No, not those ones. Because he has to fight the Phantom of the Opera in the next game, and it does not do well, ever. For the player. It sucks. It... I'm not excited, because I have to play all three games. For me, and not for just you. I want to I wanna show it all off, but I'm not excited to play two. 
Shit, I missed. <laughs> Nikola Tesla. Imagine having to fight the guy, Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla versus this dude who quite literally, by like the end of the trilogy, is akin to other deities. Something beyond regular comprehension. Something that could literally like snap a finger and like break your whole atoms. Mega Man vs. the Fate series? That sounds sick though. <laughs> like, Geostellar becomes such a badass by the third game that you're fine if he fights literally any anime character. It feels like it's balanced. Make Geo fight all those, like, isekai kids who are like, I got reborn with an overpowered ability! I'm sorry, they don't say overpowered, they say, the title always says, like, my, my unique OP skill in another world! Gone wild, gone sexual! And then, like, you go and watch the anime, it's got, like, a lot of lolly porn in it. Oops, that's not acceptable, is it? What's up with that? What the fuck is up with that, guys? A weird amount of that in this anime. Oh shit, I fucked it. Gotcha. Oh, while well, I'm at it, can I? No, okay. One of the star for anime where the two fused with the virus. Oh! Okay, so like. That is always. That, that's already an actual thing, digital. In, in this game, it's not explicitly shown, but the jammers, the big dudes, like the guy with the toned-ass cheeks that we fought earlier, uh, jammers are actually implied to be guys who have been taken over by viruses, except because of the anime being the anime, they had more of a, like, creative freedom with creating character designs to animate for, like, one-off episodes. So I can see why you want that. I would, too. But as, like, a developer, imagine having to, like, make a bunch of character sprites for, like, one-off moments. Because even the bosses that die after their scenario aren't a one-time thing. Spoiler, spoiler. It's not a one-time thing. They'll come back every time. Like, there are reused sprites in the third game from the first game, and we don't mind. We like it. But you gotta, like... You have to accept that. Yeah, we can't always just make random side characters for, like, one-off scenarios. It's not the best choice. It's a waste of resources on a series that was originally made for the DS. So you gotta- you gotta hit limits. As much as I hate limits. Two balls! Biggest. Ooh. Susan O is a great idea. And I think it would be like really good to pair Susan O in a scenario where he rivals uh Rogue, who is a spoiler character we'll encounter later in both the not fun and then fun way. Don't worry about it. Let's focus on this. Mr. Shepard's back there somewhere. Time to the books. Great cutscene, guys. Great cutscene, guys. Time for my favorite part. Uh, quiz. And that is the gimmick of this whole dungeon. These little teacher statues, where if you trigger, if you press on like the funny calculator pressure plates they'll start spewing math ghosts at you, or quiz ghosts, and if you answer the questions, that's it, like, you'll pass, but if you get the questions wrong, you'll take, like, five damage every time. Technically, you don't even have to try. You could just, like, mash A, and you'd still, you'll be fine, because you can't die from it. It just technically makes the dungeon harder. Which, in hard mode, yeah, that's kind of bad. And you only get like five seconds to answer. Oop. Coast to coast. 
Also, hey, check out this banger music. I'll let you enjoy that for a bit. This song is so good. Oops, sorry, I opened the thing. Oh. I'm just trying to make it louder. What the fuck, Windows? You're not even going to let me access the sound mixer? What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Wow. I gotta fix this. I have I have to fix this. No, not that one. That son of a bitch. Whatever it was, uh, I can't open up the volume slider on my computer now, so I'll have to, like, restart. I'll do that after the stream. But, like, hey, banger. Anyway, trivia time. This song, unlike the rest of the game's music, utilizes a sound font used in Mega Man Battle Network 5 Double Team DS. For the DS. The sound font in this stage for a song called Now Study is that sound font. That's why unlike, you know, if I were to go to any other part of this game, it doesn't have like the same sound as the rest of it. But honestly, I kind of wish that they used the, the Double Team DS sound font for Star Force. I think it would have been great. Which is funny, because, like, I then look at Star Force 3, and that game has the best music ever! It is wild trivia. It, this is, like, the only time where this sound font appears in the whole game. And it's done so well. It's done so well! They had no right cooking up such a good soundtrack. Also, new virus time, check it out. It's a gun. Oh god, I, I sure hope that thing with the volume slider doesn't make the game run slow. Because I'm worried that would actually ruin it. Oi. Oh, I'll need to like, eat those heals too. I didn't grab anything on the way, did I? Okay, no, we're gonna be- we'll be safe. We'll be fine for the boss, just in case. If I- if I want to, for like the third part of this dungeon, I'm just gonna muscle my way through all the quizzes. Ugh. Um, five. Uh, I don't know what this is! Fuck! <laughs> I don't- I hate history! I hate history! I don't- I'm not good at history! 
American history sucks. Also, Columbus is cringe. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. He made me take five damage in Mega Man Star Force. <laughs> Among other things, but, you know, we don't gotta talk about that. Bitch! You're so hard to hit from that far. Yeah, I can work with that. I love... I love the harp note card. Hit him with the big one. I, yeah, like, Star Force 2 could have been way better. Hypothetically, you could rewrite all of Star Force 2 to be a better game. Because, like, the problem of Star Force 2 lies in, in its, like, design, its art. Out. Seven. Yellow. The big problem with it is its writing and a bit of its art design, but mostly just the writing. And there are people who would, like... There are people who praise Star Force 2 being like, Actually, it's really, really, really good and you guys are just haters, which is like... I don't think we played the same game, because... No. And I, I bet you, those same motherfuckers that are being like, Star Force 2 is the best game ever and your Star Force 3 fucking sucks. They're probably people who unironically will think of, like... Auto, auto King as, like, the best way to play the game. I say controversially, but, like, so genuinely. So incredibly genuinely. Thunderball. Star Force 3 is the best game. Star Force 2 suffers a lot for its bad writing. It's not bad gameplay wise, because it's just Star Force 1 with a bit of fixes and like some new parts. But it's not better. It's, if anything, kind of like a side grade, but also the writing is terrible. Because the writing is the equivalent of a Chipmunks the Road Chip, the Squeakwell type of game. And I hate road trip plots the most. Like, I'll hate a lot of tropes and plots in a lot of fiction. Road trips piss me off. Because it's hard filler. Yeah, the first game, really great writing. Second game, Astonishingly, they- okay, you know what? I have something I can gripe about once we get to it. Star Force 2 murders a character so bad. And it- it's miserable, cause like, it's a character whose representation in this whole franchise is actually like- It has the potential to be really good, and then they write a character murder in the second game that makes it- as if he's really bad. I'll get to it when we get there. But just, wow, I did get pissed off when I found out what happened to someone in Star Force 2. Because they're like my favorite character from the first game. And I dread having to fight him in this game because holy crap, he's hard. As for the Star Force 2 stream, it'll be fast. Like, faster than this one. It might take a while to complete, because, like, they make a lot of the segments in the game purposely slow, but, like, we'll get through it fast, don't worry. Star Force 1 has a hard mode now, and that's why it will take a while. Otherwise, this game is fast as balls for me. Like, if I turned off hard mode, I would finish this game in only, like, four games. Um. Time is money. That's not true. Oh. Seven years. Um. Ah. 
I never really played X7, but I've watched enough of X7's gameplay to figure out, yeah, this game might not be great. I'm not a huge fan of the X series, which, controversial as it is, I'm sorry. But I just don't really feel that interested in the X series. Could be worse. I could just outright hate it. But no, I, I like the X series. I do. As someone who likes a lot of the men, I do like it. How? I think I'll just use my free space to heal. Yeesh. Yeah. Heal. Give me healing cards. I can just stand here and ruin my busting ring so I can get a free healing card and some star chips. I'm hungry! This music's awesome. Yeah, honest- okay, so honestly, the- the voice dub, as limited as it was for the rest of, like, Star Force 3, it's really good. Yeah, the- the voice acting in Star Force 3, in the dub, is really good. Not in the anime, there is no Star Force anime, cries loudly. But there is- voice acting in Star Wars 3's gameplay, which is pretty good. I wanna... Yeah. God, I can't wait for that gauge to be at full speed constantly. Let's finish this. I apologize if you hear anything outside of my house. My neighbors are loud and annoying. The ghost! Fall. Nobody's perfect. Twelve. Garden ball. Ah! A ghost has invaded my school. They're trying to control me. Help! I think a Star Force anime for Star Force 3 would be cool if it was made by Studio Trigger in the current year. Instead of like back then. If like Capcom was like, hey, to advertise the Star Force trilogy, we've decided to make Star Force 3 a Trigger Productions anime. Would be so cool! We would get some of the coolest fight choreography for a Mega Man cartoon in years. Which, like, compared to the rest of the stuff we were given, dude, imagine. Because, like, I know someone out there watching this has watched Dungeon Meshi at least once and can agree, yeah, Trigger can cook real good. And that's just me referencing the newer animes, like, dude, I've been, I've been with Trigger as I watched through Guru and Lagan, so back when they were, like, Studio Gainax. So good! 
Star Force 3 anime would be so good, except we would also have to see the part that most people would be like, we can't show this to kids. Which is like, yeah, isn't that crazy that Star Force 3 shows this to kids? You know, a lot happens in this game. <laughs> Dungeon Mesh is so good, I need to watch Season 2 with my boyfriend. Who is somewhere. I need to watch Season 2 so bad. I want to go back to watching Lyos Dungeon Meshi cooking up the monsters and hyper fixating on them. Boss is gonna tell me about, uh, Winter 2. Yarn Ball. I'm noticing a pattern, and that's kind of funny, because it's a bit late for that, because I think I cleared this room, but like, I think I could have just mashed A and I would have been more fine. I missed Lyos Dungeon Meshi and Senshi, and I want to enjoy the rest of the characters that I know are there too. I want my cat. I want my funny cat beast woman. Fuck you! Fuck you! If Laios told me to learn how to cook, which technically I do, it's just I'm, I'm not confident in using, like, the stove. And I absolutely do not like ovens. Uh, I, I would still cook. I want to cook. If, if, if Senshi showed up in my house one day and was like, Today you need to cook chicken! I would say, yes, I do need to cook chicken, Senshi Dungeon Meshi. I do need to cook chicken. I could go for some delicious, yummy chicken. Ow. Got a bit late on that, don't you think? I don't know what to tell you, Digital Warrior, but that can't happen. Or well, okay, so like... Maybe I did read the post-game. There's a lot of spoilers I'd have to go into if I wanted to talk about uh, Planet AM. That I feel like I actually like misread, so it's like, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, thank god I hit that. I'll have to like reread a bunch of stuff. So maybe I maybe I did get that wrong. Give myself a moment of doubt. Man, these crib these, these cribs. These crabs kinda cook. Where am I going? Is this the final room? It is the final room. You know what that means. I'm going to muscle my way through it by bashing my head in through every wall. Here we go. Now that's a rare one. That little excellent jingle, that only happens if you answer it within the first milliseconds. Which it's like, who the hell would even be able to answer that fast? Nobody. That only happens if you're mashing, so it's like, wow! Yippee! That'd be funny. Shit. These crabs. Crustacean. You crustaceous cheapskate. Fuck you. Oh, I wish I could heal while I was waiting for that. I would have gotten way more health to work with. Oh well. Run forward. Uh, uh, 
Ouch. Youch! Ouch! Eek! Damn, that shit kinda hurt. Yeah, like, it's really funny when you think about it. This dungeon's pretty inconsequential. Like, I mean, all gimmicks that deal damage to you don't really, you know, kill you, kill you, but, like, the only way you could not make progress in this dungeon is if you just stop walking. Speaking of stop walking... Sure hope I don't die! Shit. Oh, he might actually be stuck doing that. I should be good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sweet, okay, cool. Crazy idea, since you were talking about Geo fighting more supernatural bosses, bro. A Frankenstein boss would be sick. Maybe not a fusion, but like... A Frankenstein's monster kind of like huge lumbering golem-like boss would be sick. You could fight Gutsman! It would be like Frankenstein's Gutsman. Where you have, like, something that actually references Gutsman from, like, the Navi days. So you could, like, reference Battle Network without actually being a Battle Network game by having a Frankenstein's monster of Navis. That would be sick! And you could write about how it's like, this, this character was created in a very unethical way. It's like, yeah. Because that's old Navi data being used to create a big monster. You dodged! You dodged my attack again! You bitch! Stupid sprung! Bouncing around like I don't care. I do care. Shoots you to death. Mods, shoot this guy with bullets! I'm not gonna answer the questions normally, I'm just gonna mash through. Ouch! Ooh! Eek! Okay, there should be one more. It's right there. electric ball ah you gotta avoid those I'm sorry here I go shut up ouch oh I think Rathalos has been done too much in other games. I think we're done referencing Rathalos and Tigrex and Xenogre. I want other monsters from, from like, Capcom's Monster Hunter to be referenced. Like, fucking... It would be sick if Geo had to fight Valstrax. Because it's just the final boss of the third game. Or Nakarkos. Nakarkos would also be a really sick boss. Or Teostra, who could have, like, a cool exploding gimmick and is, like, very similar to Leo Kingdom. There are lots of really good bosses.
They want- I want this fucker gone. These crabs are way more annoying on legend mode. I wanna leave! We have a boss to fight. A score to settle. Mm. No. No, maybe maybe not that. Ow, what the fuck? Why? Um, this game kind of sucks, actually. I can't wait to get better cards in, like, the later chapters. I didn't even pay attention to what I did. I could have died. I could have died doing that, but alright. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun in the school computer. I'm gonna go fight this boss, and then be angry, because I hate fighting this boss. Let's actually see if we got the firepower for this. Mr. Roche, do you have good firepower for this boss fight, or is this going to be annoying for a while? be a bit of an uphill climb, but I should be fine. Barriers don't fucking matter, anyway. Just, mm, I guess. Let's do one less long sword. For ghost pulse. Spoilers! But yes. I mean, like, if you're playing on Legend Mode, it's even more something that you would hate if you played Legend Mode already digital. Well, let's suffer. Oh shit, I forgot the voice I did for him. Oh well. Uh, let's, let's make up a new voice on the spot. And who might you be? Oh no, it was like Xavier, right? I think it was like the Xavier voice. I'm uh Mega Man. Hey Libra. Well, if it isn't the traitor, Omegasis. You couldn't balance loyalty with treasure treachery. So it's no wonder I turned traitor, right? Well, seeing you balanced water with fire isn't exactly bringing a smile to my face, either. I think you know why I'm here. I came to, to find and destroy only you. Don't underestimate us. We just got a new power, so bring it on, right, Geo? We're going to put a stop to the emoji. The nerd emoji. Sorry, but I can't let you. If the kid's grades don't get better, I'm gonna get fired. F fired? So that's why you did this. That's not good enough. That's not good enough of a reason to make your students suffer. That's just cruel. That's. Hey, how many times do I have to tell you? To protect something, you've got to sacrifice something else in return. That's reality. Oh yeah, sorry. I can't get fired. And I, as a father, must protect my own kids. Must protect them. Well, that's... It's the same as me. He, he's just like me. He's just like me, Omegasis. For real, for real. I have someone I must protect, too. That's why I will stop you. I must. I see. I don't want to fight. 
but in this situation, I must. Let's do this. Here he comes. Brace yourself, Geo. It's a boss that doesn't want to fight you. How interesting. I hated this boss. However, today is not then. But this will be annoying, because how does legend mode labor work? They take half damage from any non-weakness attack and non-break attack. Oh, they work differently. I forgot it's counter windows too. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good sign at all. <laughs> e. I gotta hit him with his weaknesses on those windows where he can be weak to it. Yeah, so not there. I need to block. Ooh, harp note is break damage, that's good. the legendary mode hack and thought like, yeah, let's make it so he takes half damage from attacks. I'm angry. <laughs> I wish I could keep him in a bubble so I could hit him with that, but I wasn't lucky. Oh well. I didn't block. I forgot to block! But I got the counter, so it's okay! I missed that. It's not okay. It's not okay! Damn it! Fuck! Ow! Ah, it's okay. We're good. We're living. Is, is what I would say. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm supposed to be living. Erm, um, excuse me, waiter. Okay, thank god. <laughs> Jeez. God, we're not getting any fucking boss fight cards for this chicanery. Ugh. Now's your chance to turn the wave off. Doink! <laughs> um. Is, is it this one? Emergency shutdown. Nerd emoji emergency shutting down. Nerd emoji emergency shutting down. I should turn the nerd emoji off. No. You think you could stop me? He still wants to fight? Uh. Doom. Please stop. I can't lose. I can't get fired. Not now. Mr. Shepard. That voice. Erm, um, that voice. It speaks to me like a fart in the wind. Speaking with thine bottom mouth orifice. God, I love Xavier Renegade Angel. That shit funny. <laughs> It's not here either. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Um. 
You think he ate something bad? Does he have a fever? If he wasn't sick, Mr. Shepard wouldn't say things like we need to get better grades. That's why we must hurry and take him to the doctors. We've got to get our teacher back. Let's split up and look for him. Man, do you guys feel irradiated or is it just me? Those kids, none of them are saying TikTok jargon. I can't believe it. This horrible person I've become. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I've been a fool. I can't face the kids, not anymore. And what about your own kids? Are you just gonna let them starve? No. I must protect them all. What are you saying? Have you lost it? I will continue being a teacher. But I won't give up on my kit ideals either. What I lack was the resolve to see my philosophy through. I realized that after seeing their kid's kindness. I told you it's impossible. It might be, but the important thing is to keep on putting all you've got into something. If you keep on trying, even the impossible becomes possible. And I have a duty to pass that idea on as long as I live. It's my duty as a father and as a teacher. Oh. No. No! Oh. It's back to his usual self. He can't believe for the boot. Alright, come on, Gio. Let's get going. That poor man who looks like me on the floor. And that's how this incident came to an end. Soon after that, there was an investigation into what caused the whole mess. Um, it was accepted that the nerd emojis messed up Mr. Shepard's head. And that's what happened. Because of that, people began to rethink the use of study waves in school. Of tic of TikTok educational compilations. What happened to Mr. Shepard? He took full responsibility and resigned. Mr. Shepard is going to disappear. That's what everyone thought, but... The students who heard about it were against it. They collected signatures and presented the petition to the principal, all to persuade him to let Mr. Shepard stay at Echo Elementary. And then Luna threatened him with a gun, because he's the one who let the nerd emoji be used. Faced with so many signatures, the principal reluctantly gave in at the end. That's how Mr. Shepard got to keep on being a teacher, just like before. Then, a few days later, it was the day of the school event. What? Pat's absent today? I didn't plan for this at all. Would have thought he'd be get sick on the day of the big show. So now what? Do we cancel the play? I have an idea. It's perfect! Please, think this over one more time. Oh, stop! There's no one else but you! Oh, and I made one change to the script. In this part, I'll protect you. Count on it? What's with this line? During that last incident when I was pleading for help, I could have sworn I heard someone say those words to me. I'm sure that someone was Mega Man. Why am I even explaining this to you? 
I just sit in this room tonight because she heard me. Then it was time for the performance. Ah, help! Oh my god, I would also scream for help if the whole room was filled with the same four character designs. Be quiet! Punch! No, someone, please! Someone make my comes on stage. Don't mess this up, Trio. Hold it right there! Huh? Who are you? I'm Mega Man, the Blue Bomber. No way. Isn't this the real Mega Man in the flesh? What happened? The power outage? Damn it! That was careless of me. Huh? I thought he was the real one. I knew it. It was just my imagination. I must be tired to mistake Geo for Mega Man. But, you know... Razor Line. Oh, um... You came to save me, right? I'll protect you. Count on it. Why? Why is my heart racing so fast? One week after the wildly successful play... Gio, everyone's waiting for you. Got it. How long were you planning on making us wait? I took the time to personally come to get you. The least you could do is hurry up. It wasn't even five minutes. Besides, no one said you had to pick me up every single morning. I just don't want you to stop coming to school again. Now that would be a problem. Yeah, so show the press some thanks for her kindness. Get ready earlier, got it? Please wake up 30 minutes earlier. That's fucking insane. Knowing how, like, school was, if all of you remember your own school life. Waking up for me was, like, 6 o'clock in the morning every day. I had to wake up at 6 o'clock and get ready for school. Because we had to, like, be there at, like, 7.15 or something like that, maybe earlier. I started school at 7. The idea of having to get up at 6 o'clock is already insane for a lot of people I talk to. To then think, you have to get up at, like, 3... 5.30 in the morning. Dude. Fuck no. No kid should be awake at 5.30 in the morning. 6, 6 o'clock. I mean, you guys... You guys... Man. Man, you guys need to chill and stop pushing so hard. I've got my own speed. I... Thank you so much, everyone, for doing this. Oh, good morning, Mr. Stellar. So how is Geo doing in class? He didn't go to school for so long, I'm afraid he might be a bit behind everyone else. You don't need to worry, Miss Stellar. I am the class president of Class 5A of Echo Elementary, Luna Platts. It's my duty to watch over all of my fellow student classmates. Right, Geo? Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Well, I hope you continue to be good friends. Of course we will, right, bud? Zack? Yeah, of course. I'm certainly... <sighs> wow, really? That's great. It's nice that he's made such good friends. I'm so happy. Oh! We have to go to our... We have to go or we'll be late. Well, we wouldn't want that. Off you guys go then. See you. Bye, Miss Stellar. Come on, let's go. And then a car comes in and hits all four. You sure act different around Mom. You think so? Anyway, we have to hurry or we'll be late. Looks like I got some mail. And some Ferrero Shea. Mm. 
It's been a while since I ate one of these. Uh-oh. I feel like I should have put them in the fridge or something. Mmm. Mmm. Ferrero, I say. Mm. Oh, my God, running gag. Ah. What's the mail for? Oh. No, we won't be getting those for a while. I'm doing all right. Huh. Ooh, interesting enemy composition. This is a bad spawn. Ouch. God, what is up with this? Okay. This is more doable, but like, holy fuck, that sucked. You got Cloud Strife. I think my brother's home. How fun. to see if like there are other viruses I can fight because there's that one in the studio I killed so we're good on that I don't think there's any more in like the upper classrooms it's Pat he's alive Yippee! okay talk to everyone because you have to do that right Unless I can just sit in my desk. Nope. Hey, morning! Looks like you're fitting in just... Yeah, looks like you're fitting in just fine. I'm happy for you. Fish. And that's it for today. Now, I want y'all to go straight home. I don't want to hear anyone who's horsing around. Oh, and Bud, you still haven't turned in your math homework. If you still don't have it by tomorrow, it'll be one week of detention. Oh man, no way. My head's gonna blow if I have to think that hard. Didn't you say that three days... Hmm? Didn't you say three days ago that you had finished it, but you just forgot to bring it in? Uh, um... Bruce! Don't look at me, you should do your own homework on your own. If I helped you, it wouldn't be... If I helped you, it wouldn't help you in the end, right, Shepard? That's right, you should try to do them by yourself. 
I always do it by myself. I give it my best. Hmm. That's funny. Because the homework you always turn in has the same mistakes as Zach's. Coincidence? Uh. I even warned him not to copy everything. <laughs> Bye! New portrait! New portrait! You know, school's not half bad. Mr. Shepard and the others are really nice. I never knew school could be this, this much fun. And one last announcement. Geo! Can you please come to the studio after we're done here? I'd like to talk to you about something. Don't worry, it's nothing bad. You're not in trouble. Yes, sir. Alright, class dismissed. And remember your homework tomorrow, bud. Honestly, what are you thinking? You should at least do your math homework. Never thought I'd be so embarrassed to be brothers with you. I'm really sorry, Frez. Zach, I want you to go home with Bud and start on those math problems right away. But didn't you just tell him to do it on his own? What's my favorite cartoon is on tonight? Do you really think Bud can finish it all by tomorrow? I don't think so, so that's why I want you to hurry up and get it. Yes, Prez. I understand. Come on, bud, let's go. Stop dragging your feet and start running! <laughs> Brothers like that, is it any wonder why I'm always so tired? Back to our usual cheery self, I see. Yeah, being brothers with her must be taxing. Oh, I should get moving to the studio. There's still nothing in here. What are these? Long sink. Excuse me. Over here! We're over here! <laughs> What's wrong? Come on, say hi! This is Mr. Bob Copper from the Stella Police. He's looking into what happened here during that incident a few days ago. I haven't seen you in a while! I almost forgot your name! Geo, was it? Y yes sir. And what can I help you with? You remember the incident here, right? Yeah. I was looking around the school today and I found some very high levels of... I forgot what the joke I did for this was. Shit, I really should have, like, looked back. I forgot that Bob even comes back. Z-Waves. I did something for Z-Waves. I wish I could remember it. Oh well. What I'm getting at is that anyone with eyes can see that the last incident was drenched in Z-Waves and it happened just as soon as you set foot in this place you haven't been for three years. Now hold on a sec, Mr. Copper. That's because the incident was me. This child had nothing to do with it. If anything, he was a victim. Hey, please calm down, Mr. Shepard. I wasn't saying he was the culprit. I was just trying to see if the boy knew anything. Maybe something we don't know. Right, Gio? Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on now, you must know something. After all, you've been close to every other incident so far, including Z-Waves. But I don't... that doesn't mean I know anything. Alright then, Geo, don't be shocked, but... Z-Waves are really an alien life form! What does he know about that? It's bad. Just how much does this old man know? These aliens have bodies made of EM waves that normal people can't see with the naked eye. When they get near humans, they get inside people and make them do evil things. 
If you don't watch out, you might be taken over by an alien too. And if that happens, you could be in a danger to everyone around you. No, I think he's already too late for me. Ha ha ha! E.M. aliens? Oh. That's a riot. But you can't trick kids today with that kind of story, right, Geo? Ah, <laughs> So, are you satisfied, Mr. Copper? He really knows nothing about any aliens. Geo, you can go home now. Mr. Copper and I have a few things to talk about. Mr. Shepard, I must insist. Might be a bad idea if I get the teacher's bad side. Good play it safe. Okay, I suppose that's enough for today. Sorry to keep you from getting home, Geo. I'm sure we'll eat, see each other. I'm sure we'll see each other again real soon. Uh, bye. Guess the old man knows about us Ephemians. He's probably gonna tail us like crazy from now on even more than before. Just when I had made some friends too. Talk about things I could do without. Well, I guess we can go home for today. Let's go home. Let's leave. Anything in here? Any evil virus? Now, why do the frames drop by 10 frames every time I open up the menu? How confusing. Interesting. fight isn't hard, but it's very long and tedious. These designs are pretty sick, though. Get stop. <laughs> Sir, I want to go home. Ball. I got a thing I'll never use. Well, that's enough of that. thing up there. I want the blue. The blue looks really sick. Give me that shit. It's nothing. We're back to being normally strong.
plus cannon. It's like cannon, but better. It's got a plus on it. Big comically sized plus. Man, fast moving electric ball. Ah, why? Why? Why have I done this? Bitch. just go home and do the sudden new thing that showed up that I really want to do. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, hang on. Is Geo's, like, pro profile? No. Nothing changes over there. It's just his talk sprite that has a smile now instead. Which I think was a really nice touch to show, like, a little change in him. Everything's all packed and ready to go. Did you and Mr. Shepard finish already? Ugh. So, what did he want to talk to you about? It's none of your business. Oh, boring. I expect to ever become friends if you ever keeps if you keep saying shit like that. Friends. You still don't know how to make friends, do you? School's only half as fun when you don't have any friends. Well, I guess I can let you join my group since you look so pitiful all the time. Me? Join your group? That's right! I also told Bud and Zack to be nice to you, so aren't you happy? If you are, you should say something. I'm happy, but I don't really know if I could be a good friend to anyone yet. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> Turning down my invitation is definitely not the way of becoming friends. See if I ever invite you again. If you want to rethink things, I suggest you do it now. You scared me, opening the door like that. And by the way, how are the math problems coming along? I don't think you two can finish that quickly. Are you slacking off? Well, say something. Am I right? So you're not going to say anything? You mean the Prez's Goon Squad? I don't even know where to begin. No, that's not what I meant at all. Then what? Ah! What are you doing? What's the meaning of this? Jam! Purple. <laughs> Purple guy. Purple guy! Actually, you know what? I'll be right back. I gotta go do something real quick. And then we can go back to Purple Guy.
<laughs> I forgot to... I didn't press the button. Whoops! Whoops! Oops! Oops! I didn't press the button. That's okay. What I said wasn't really too funny. I just did a muscle man voice and then called them goons. Hey, wait, who are you talking to? I see. You have no intentions of giving it to me. That's fine. I could pry it from you. Go, my goons! Ah, they're coming right for us! You can't do that. That's illegal! I'm so sick of everyone coming for me. I'll put you all in prison. But first, we have to get the fuck out of here. You don't have to tell me twice! <laughs> the fucking, like, the Flintstones, like, running in place before zooming away. Fucking Looney Tunes, Scooby Doo bullshit. Oh yeah, you're not allowed to pulse in, weirdly enough. So it's just focused on leaving. Don't stop so suddenly! Shh, quiet! Good. Goon! You can't get outside with that gooner there. If only I could find a safe place to stash Luna, I could pulse in. Can't go forward, so we gotta go back. What are you going to do? We can't get out from the front, so we're gonna have to turn around and find another way out. Are you kidding? There's more of those guys back where we came from! I know. I know that. This is a dead end. It's just as dangerous here, so let's get the heck out of here. What is with you? Ever since a few minutes ago, you've done nothing! Tell me what to do. I don't have much of a choice, though. Hey! Wait for me! Okay. Could I put her in the girl's bathroom? No, why not? the boys room but I don't need to go right now I don't need to potty today so we gotta find a place that we can stash Luna until it's safe nope just rooms back on empty rooms Are those monsters and why do I get the feeling you know something I don't know anything hmm I guess not if only Mega Man was here instead of you he'd squash those guys in a heartbeat oh Mega Man won't you come to save me haha -ha. yeah the elevators here goon ah Luna get it across the brain Oh, okay. Goon! Goon! I'm gooning! Oh. I need water. This voice sucks. We gave him the slip. How many of those creepy guys are there? There's so many, they're bound to spot us sooner or later. She's right, you know. You can't run forever. If you don't do something about the gooner, those guys aren't gonna get out of here. Then it looks like I don't have a choice. This room seems to be safe for now. This may be our only chance. Let's go. 
Luna, I'm gonna try to get rid of them. So I want you to wait here. Can you handle being here by yourself? Are you stupid? You can't go out there alone. What are you, can you do? My dad used to say that. Even if it was a silver sliver of a chance, it's better to do something. It's dangerous! Alright, I'll protect you. So promise me you won't leave this room. What did you just say? It'll be alright. I'll protect you. What am I thinking at a time like this? It's not like he's Mega Man or anything, but he's sort of kind of cool right now. He's kind of sick with it. He's not Mega Man, but he's kind of sturdy with it. For real, for real. Yo, speaking of Mega Man, I played Boktai 2. I'm sorry, Boktai for the DS. It's good. But I guess it's like, since it's a Kojima game, it's made way differently than I'm used to video games on the DS being, so it's kind of rough. To say the least. It's good, but like, I mean, combat can be boiled down to no one plays as Aaron, and you just use the scythe. What am I doing? Coming, you son of a bitch. You son of a bee. Ow. Dick. I'll be fine. One hundred and sixty five health. I don't give a shit. I, um, I kind of don't care. Where you go? Class 5A. Why are you in the 40s? You're standing above the speaker. Yeah, where the fuck do you- oh. Where the fuck did he go? He's probably headed for Luna. No, we've gotta hurry back! There is no fucking reason to go here! Where'd she go? Where did she go? Erm... Um, Luna's in danger, but we don't actually know that for sure until we find her. Which I mean, like, sure, she's probably in the wave world, but like... You never said she was in the wave world. You just said, GO BACK! Which is like... Okay... Guess I'll go back. Sigh, guess I'll do it for you. Shoot you with a gun. 
<laughs> oh. Hum. Curse you for having to force me to save more than once. All this slowdown is pissing me off. This is class 1A. I'm supposed to be in class 1B. Must I get a free radar missile? I wanna kill that man. That's a hairy little shit. I'll teach you a thing or two about fucking with Mega Man. Oh no, she's being gooned. I'll trade you the girl for the Andromeda key. I'll never hand over the key to you. <laughs> then I suppose I must take it. But realize that if you lay a finger on me, she might not feel so well as a consequence. Watch closely, little girl. Watch and see me defeat your mighty Mega Man. Don't blink! Hi, yeah! Take this and this. Kinda lame. A forced loss segment in the form of a blackout screen. I'm dead. I don't have dialogue. Shut up. Is this what they call friendship? But enough talk! Time for you to say goodbye! And the Andromeda key is mine! Gulp! Uh. A guitar? It's Sonia! Yippee! Note is live and on stage. That was a close one, huh? I saw the help signal and came to see what's up. I didn't think it would be that serious. Thanks, Harp Note. Ugh, you got me good, but EM humans, you know what to do with this girl. Goon. Oh no you don't! Anti-gooning cord! <laughs> Mega Man, he's all yours. Tisk. Lyra, huh? You traitorous scum. I'll take care of this guy. Harp note, you take care of Luna. Okay. Finally, we can give this creep what's coming. Curses! Don't count your chickens before they hatch! Cause I'll be the one dishing out the pain. Here we go. Wave battle, right on. Straight stop me. Holy shit, he's green. <laughs> oh no, you're a wall now! Fuck you. Ooh, spooky. Ow! It <laughs> ouch. This isn't really 
nearly as climactic as I thought it would be. It's here for green. That one's still green! There is a big shotgun blast I can kill him with. Oh no. There was. The reward at most is like like a hundred. Like a thousand zenny. It's not worth trying to S rank. Yeah no, I was so close. Now I'm just gooning. Lord Gemini, I'm sorry. Holy shit, he died for real, for real. So that's who was behind it all. Gemini. Are they? Yeah. He's another FMian. But I have no idea what he's plotting. Gemini. Ah, Luna! How is she? She's fine. She just fainted and she'll wake up pretty soon. What about you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. Some really strong Z-waves coming from this room! Looks like old Mr. Copper's back. Pretty bad if you found more Z-waves. Better go back to the real world. Can you help me and grab one of Luna's arms? Sure! Okay, let's go. Ooh, I'm beat. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the save today, Zonia. If you hadn't shown up. Ah, uh, it's nothing. We're brothers, after all, right? That's what brothers do. Sonia! Uh... Looks like she's coming around. Don't say that. Well, I think I should go. I wouldn't want her to suffer another shock. When she wakes up with Sonya's strum in her room, you know... I'll be waiting outside. We can talk more later. Okay, got it. I'll see you around later, then. Don't get any funny ideas about Luna, okay? I won't. <laughs> I was just joking. Okay, later. Yeah. I disturb you? You okay? You hurt anywhere? Oh, you probably shouldn't try to sit up yet. Mega Man. No, wait. Geo! What are you doing in my room? Well, you see, please don't get angry, but well, you were unconscious and I had to take you home, so I kind of looked in your transer. You what? You looked into my trans- How could you? The worst kind of person ever, pervert! No, please. I, I only looked up your address. Ah! I just realized. Where's Mega Man? Where is he? He got hurt trying to protect me. I didn't see him or anything, but I think he's probably okay. I mean, we're okay, so he must be too, right? <laughs> Don't give me a silly laugh! Ah! Mega Man is no laughing matter. I believe in what he says, and he will save us all. I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought I should get home. Is your mom gonna be home soon? My mom and dad are really busy, so I'm usually home alone. It's been like this ever since nursery school, so I'm used to it. Oh! 
Then maybe I should wait until someone... I'll be fine by myself. So you don't need to feel sorry for me. I'm used to being alone, so you could just go home. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll take it easy, okay? Um... I know Mega Man was the one who saved us, but you really tried hard to. So... Thanks. No problem. Well, what are you waiting for? Get going! Yeah, well, see ya. Sheesh. Why am I getting all flustered over him? This must be from the shock of the incident. Yeah, that's it. That must be it. <sighs> he really knows how to get on my nerves! Echo Ridge. And not a penny out of place. Can I go to the big wave now? <gasps> I can do the thing! Guys, look! It's the it's some some exclusive content only available on the DX version of this game. Yeah, that's right. The deluxe game has this robot, and that's it. Hey Mr. Souther, what's this robot? Caught your eye, didn't it? That's my friend. That, my friend, is a store assistant robot. Totally rad, right? I was drifting around town the other day when I saw it in a junk shop. It was destiny, I think. Doesn't it just scream vintage? Vintage? Looks more like junk to me. Doesn't seem like it's working right now. Yeah, that's just it, man. Thing is, this puppy needs a Navi chip to come alive. I ordered one a while ago, but it hasn't arrived. Maybe the guy got swept away in a current. But I can't just leave the store and look for him, you dig? And leave my all my customers stranded here? Actually, you wanna do me a solid, dude? Hmm, shut up, Ken. Far out, you're the bomb. Delivery man said he'd be surfing on over to Amakin first to offload some stuff. Might be a good place to have a look-see, yeah? I'll be here if you need me, I'm counting on you! And we're going to Emeken before I take a nap at my house. For you see, this will unlock a thing that literally is like... Oh. Oh. I was gonna say, it unlocks a thing that'll actually help us in, like, the long run of making this game way less horrible in, like, the end game. but sure, I can wait a little longer. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks again back there. <laughs> it's like I said before, you're very welcome. We're brothers now, so no matter what, we'll be there for you. Right, Lyra? Yeah? Hey, not so fast. Be careful of that girl, Sonya. You never know when she might backstab you. Oof! Aren't you rude? I like Sonya and this planet too much. Trust me. I won't be returning to FM anytime soon. How now, Lyra? It's okay! But by the way, Geo. So, um... Are you free this Sunday? Um, yeah. Um... I... uh... Come on, you can say it! You came all the way over here today for this! I was wondering if... She would go shopping with me! Maybe we could go to Nacy's in Times Square? So what do you think? You want to go shopping? Just the two of us? No good? That's not what I meant, I meant... I don't usually do things with just one other person. And, and definitely not with a girl, you know? I've never gone shopping alone with a guy before, so, um... What are you two getting all in the face for? Not that I like you would understand, but this is what humans call adolescence. Hmm. Adolescence, huh? Okay, then let's meet in front of the rubber statue at Times Square at 10 this Sunday. Okay. Don't be late, okay? See you! Yeah. 
Great job, Sonya! <laughs> You're pretty smooth too, Geo. Good job landing a date with such a cute girl. Date? It's not like that! You have to introduce us next time. Yeah, sure. Wow, a lot of stuff happened today, I'm beat. <laughs> okay, okay. In you go. <laughs> My little boy's growing up. Wait until his mom finds out that his girlfriend is literally a world-renowned pop star. <laughs> they may be children, but let's take it real, Geo's girlfriend is a literal pop idol. He got himself set for life. Looks like our little Luna has gotten into some trouble again. And during such a busy term, I just knew that- Oh, hang on. That's not right. I need a rich man voice. I must invoke my inner rich man. And during such a busy term, I just knew that public school would pull her down. That is true. Those riffraff friends are probably rubbing off in a bad way on our Luna. If we let her stay at that school, she will only wind up in mort. I need to, like, huh? Rich man voice. Yes. Mm, yes. Oh. Oh, how delightful. If we let her stay at that school, School. She will only wind up on more trouble. I'm sure that has already damaged her future. Yes, dear. We should move her in a private school ASAP. Yes, which is why I will go speak with the school on Monday if I must about her transferring. We'll move her to a strict boarding school and sign her up for the elite course. Yes, if we give her the best education, then she'll be hired by the best corporations. It really is the best route to happiness. I'll start looking right away. Mmm, yes, please. Oh, I hate to bring up work, however. About the location of the next exhibition, I think it would be better for the layout if we were to set it a bit further back. You're right. Let's move it back there then. We'll have to move to the we'll have to move the tree a bit up though. Mmm true hey, transfer. What should I do today? I know, I'll call up Bud and Zack. After all, I'm going to be at some boarding school. Who knows where... Who knows where by the end of the next week. Maybe I'll give Bud a call first? <sighs> Hello? Oh, Prez! What's wrong? You're calling me really early. You're free today, aren't you? Bring Zack with you and come to my house. Uh, today? But I've got plans! Gonna get some awesome pancakes with my mom! What awesome pancakes? Do you rank pancakes higher than me? But I really can't today. We promised each other to do this half a year ago. I mean, next week I'm all up for hanging out. Whatever, I'm not going to beg you. Go enjoy your stupid pancakes. Uh, wait, Prez. 
bud. I may not even be around next week. On to Zack. Hello? Oh, Prev. What's wrong? Zack. Zack, you're free today, right? Come over and hang out at my house. Um, I'm really sorry, but I'm attending a seminar about stretching to grow taller. Oh, why don't you invite Bud? I get it, I get it. Go stretch and get taller then, see if I care. What is it with those two? I know. Maybe I should see what Gio's up to. He's probably got nothing better to do. He'd better be honored to get a personal invitation from yours truly. <laughs> And notice how she doesn't call him by his transer because they are not brothers. Okay, just have to ring this doorbell. This is so stupid! Why am I getting so nervous? It's not like I don't do this every morning. Okay, I'm going to push it. I'm leaving! What? Be late. I won't. I won't. Odd, he doesn't usually have plans. Now I'm curious, I wonder where he's going. is heading for Times Square. What's there in Times Square for a guy like him? Should be interesting. Is what I would say if I wasn't going to Amakin. Haha, -ha, fuck you! Get tricked! Now you're gonna be on a bus in the middle of Times Square by yourself, you stalker. You... Oh, where's the thing, the Navi chip that I can't find that's conveniently placed right up here? Oh wait, hang on, no, you're supposed to do it in the real world first. Oh, hold on. I'm jumping a shark. I know how to do this. I just went too far forward. First you go to this one, you get the Navi chip. I think you tell him. You probably don't have to. Yeah, you take this back to Ken Southers over at Echo Ridge. And then when you go over to do it, and yeah, going back to what I said earlier in the previous day, Elect Man, this is exclusive content only in this copy of the game. Only in this patch. This does not exist in uh, the original game, even in the Japanese version. This is exclusive. Hey, isn't that... Cowabunga! You got the Navi chip! Can you install it for me? Me and the machines, we don't speak the same language, man. You're good with gadgets, right? Okay, just gotta put this around here. And there. Geo installed Navi chip. Well, not much is happening. Guess it was a dud after all. Those Navi chips are really hard to come by these days. Man, big time bummer, dude. Let me take a look again. I check the data on this chip. Wait. Must have been lying in the open for a while. Someone came by and stole the data. So I better check in Amakin again. Then you go to Amakin and you go to that place I was I was trying to get to earlier. 
That's what you gotta do. It's a tiny mini fetch quest that you can only do at this exact point in time. I went to Times Square. This is a mini fetch quest that you can do at this point in the game exactly. This is the earliest you can do it. I went to Echo Ridge. The point of this is that this will give you a, a key item that makes the game easier, but also is interestingly different. Because it's like, it's like a quality of life thing. And it is entirely optional. You don't even need to have it. But it does give you a lot of cool shit that does matter in the long run. Especially for legendary difficulty. So you go up here. And you go into this wave. of guys with some pies in their eyes. Fuck you. I know I haven't responded to the fact that Rock Cube is here, but it's not needed in this game. The next game it's needed, but not here. Three twenty-five. Time to get my my groove on. Sorry, I skipped the dialogue. Anyway, uh, he's like, "I have the thing. You won't get it. Fuck you!" And I have to kill him. Gee willikers. Wow. <laughs> really bad. That'll make me immune to the stupid quake effect for a while. Piece of cake! Hey, you just dropped a bunch of data. That thing we're looking for must be here somewhere. Oh, this guy had a ton of data on him. Let's see. Is this it? I'm not sure, but I think this is the right data. We won't know until we try, right? For now, let's bring this back to Ken. And not the rest of the shit that we should actually keep. I mean, like, that's shit tons of free data right there. Free shit!
Cutscene. All right, let's try restoring the data. Uploading. Initializing personality program. Ooh. Greetings! I am the world renowned authority on all things nat battling. They call me Mr. Famous Mark II. But you can just call me Mark II. Whoa, time out. Did you just say nat battling? You mean like. That thing people used to do with their navvies in order to delete EM viruses? These days we just use battle cards directly. So net battling is totally washed up, you know? Well, one thing's for sure. Guess this won't be much use for a store assistant after all. Not so fast. Battle chips and battle cards? They're not so different as you might think. There's no, there's no one who knows more about battling than me and I'd be happy to help you with the store. I look forward to raising a new generation of promising young wave battlers. You know, Mr. Souther, this guy might not be half bad, Snippy Snap. <laughs> in fact, he might just come in ha real handy. Hmm. Huh. You think? Hmm. Oh, what the heck. Welcome aboard, famous dude. You and I are gonna make some waves. Glad to be of service. Geo, my man! Thanks a bunch for your help! Here, why don't you take this ultra rare card? Geo got slow gauge. This isn't why you do the quest. It's a nice check mark, but you don't do this for you don't do it for the slow gauge. I don't know I don't know how much it's worth. But feel free to use Mark II here anytime you want. This is why you did it. I want you to take a good peek at these stats. Now behold. Hey there, Geo. What's my favorite blue bomber up to today? <laughs> I have my ways of knowing. I am an electronic now, after all. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Who is this guy? Let me properly thank you for helping earlier. Here's an item that should be pretty useful. Geo got Power Up. Power Up data boosts your stats and abilities. Plus, you'll start battles in Star Force form. You can turn your Power Up data on and off from your mecha screen. Say, have you been working on your database? As you record more counter hits on it, I'll be able to increase your Power Up level. Let's see, you've deleted 30 enemies and landed counter hit on 24 enemies. Okay, I'll set your power-up data to Pegasus level 24. And up there, you can see my health just jumped up like 200 points. Power-up data has been updated. Keep filling up that database! By the way, once you get at least 70 counters, come see me. I'll have something special for you. Bye for now! Nate. So now I have power-up data. Something exclusive to the deluxe version of this game. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So here's what it gives me right off the bat, because I, I counter-hitted 24 viruses. I get 240 HP for its level, so it's basically like the data's level times 10 is your health. So I get 240 health, I get an attack power of plus 2, and a rapid fire of plus 1. The, the higher the level of this thing goes, the more I get, so I'll eventually get higher charge power, a faster gauge, I can probably change my Star Force transformation form at the start of every battle, I get more Mega Cards, more Giga Cards, and possibly abilities. So this thing can literally, like, if you max it out, can literally carry you throughout the game without the need of, like, Sonya. Because Sonya has Undershirt, and I believe this thing gives you Undershirt too, at a certain level. You can also choose to get rid of it and get it again later. Or turn it off. But yep, now I have power-up data. That makes the game way better in Legend Mode.
like, extremely less tedious, like, actually bearable. Oh yeah, I should try to buy something. How much money do I have? A decent amount. All right, Magnet Dude, give me five! I'll buy some of these. Anti-sword, stun knuckle, or poison pharaoh, and I don't have enough money for poison pharaoh. Kinda spent it all on blazing edge. That's funny. You'd think like, oh, I did the mission, therefore the slow gauge is the reward. No, no, no. The power update is the reward. The slow gauge is just a check mark for your library. Whoa, what the fuck are these frame changes? Hello? Am I excluding? Those are pretty good. Anyway, I'm now actually way stronger, so in the next coming fights I'll be way faster. You are now witnessing what makes Deluxe Edition so much better. Like, I can't believe it. They give you hard mode and power-up data? This game's fun. Because Pegasus has auto-lock, which makes every fight faster. Anyway, uh, enjoy the peak- enjoy more music. Like, you're in Times Square. This is basically New York music. Times Square music. And my favorite part of this whole attraction is just the spinning Maui head. I didn't have to, I, fuck. Sorry, I hope you didn't have to wait too long. It's okay, I just got here too. Well, you wanna go to Nacy's? Okay. What's wrong? You're kinda quiet. I don't really come here all that much, so I feel kinda lost. Ah. Uh, you don't have to feel that way! Just take a few deep breaths. Now come on. Okay. Look at them! They're on a date! Look at them, they're being cute. Geo Stellar and his idol pop star girlfriend. It's like an isekai, but this isn't. Even though there's the wave world, it's definitely not an isekai. Isn't that Sonya Strum? Why is Geo going shopping with her? I was going to invite him! I can't let my pride get the better of me. I can't let them see me following them. Moogle! Updated Moogle! Yippee! Anyway, I'm going to Macy's. With its iconic <laughs> Moai. Th this whole area is Moai themed, which I think is really funny. Like, I always wondered, why would you theme an entire area of your game up around Moai's, but it's like, it's just all of it. And just like the real Macy's, this place is also empty as fuck, except for the clothing stalls on the left and right. It's just as interesting as a real Macy's. Smile. Aren't these outfits neat? When I get a bit older, I'm gonna wear cute outfits just like these. What are we here for? What, we're here for? 
I mean, don't you usually know what you want to buy when you go shopping? No, not always. It's fun to just look at cute clothes for and nice accessories sometimes, you know? If you see something you want, then you buy it. Ooh, let's take a look at that store over there. I can smell the perfume aisle. <laughs> Welcome to How to Waste a Day. Have fun, kid. Come on, Gia, hurry up. I found a really cute handbag. Coming. Yeah, you see that down there, too. We'll address that later. What do you think? Isn't it cute? Um, yeah. There. On a date? And look at him, he's copping an attitude. Attention shoppers. Starting today, Macy's will is, hope, is proud to host a special subtropical jungle exhibition on the roof of this very building where we have a variety of snakes on display. So please feel free to visit the roof and enter the subtropical zone today. Hey, I don't know about you, but if I go to a Macy's and the first thing they do is when they turn on the intercom while I'm there and they're like, Today we have fucking snakes on our roof! Come over and see the whole shit ton of snakes on the roof! It's like, why do you have snakes on the roof? Why at a, why at a Macy's of all places? Couldn't do it at like a fucking other place? Not, not like a public park where you have like a huge booth set up? Or somewhere that makes sense, like a public theater or anything. It's like, ah, oh, let's do it on top of the Macy's. Let's do it on New Park Mall. A subtropical jungle. That must be the one my mother and father are working on. But somehow, I don't think they'd be very happy to see find me there. A jungle exhibit? Doesn't that sound exciting? Let's go take a look! Come on, don't you want to? Uh, sure, sounds fun, let's go. Okay, thanks camera pan. Are they really going to go look at the exhibit? If I bump into my parents? Whatever, I don't care. Is <laughs> it true? True. So true, nothing ever happens in amazing. <laughs> I'm going to follow them. <laughs> are you- hang on, are you implying that you could, like, host a fucking VidCon at an Acy's? <laughs> the next furry convention takes place at Nacy's. Why Nacy's? Well, what the fuck is going on at a Nacy's? It might as well be a spirit store at that point. There's a lot of stuff you can do over here. Like this card trader! Let's get funky! Ooh! Uh, nah, I think we're done, actually. I need to, like, buy a bunch of waste cards. Hey, look who it is! Cool poster of a boy war- a boy warrior named Aaron posed valiantly. Okay, so here's some neat trivia. This is a poster of Eren from Boktai for the DS, or Lunar Nights. In the American copy of this game, it was changed to something else because the Boktai collab was removed from the English version of this game. However, in the Japanese version of this game exclusively, you could still do the Boktai crossover event. Which has weirdly a lot to do with this building. And it's implied because there's a big ass poster of Aaron here. And if we go on the second floor, there's a big ass poster of Lucian. Poster of the Dark Sword Vampire Hunter. Very cool. I've played through Lunar Nights on the DS, and I can say it's actually pretty cool. But I've already said, I've already talked about that. 
But yeah, in the in, in the American version of this game, not this game, because this is a patched version that gives us everything. So in this version of, of Star Force, in Star Force Deluxe, you actually get to do the collab if you get to a certain point. It's basically like end game, post game, sort of point of time. However, in the original version of this game, the original run, uh, if you have a copy of it that was released in America, or even Europe, uh, you won't get to do the collab. You're just fucked. They don't let you do shit. The eyes on this Moai themed game called Moai the Ride are flashing. There's a lot of Moai themed shit here. Ooh, Money Finder! Cat. Giraffe. Panda. Hey, I wonder what this fan back here is supposed to be for. I sure hope I don't have to use that later. I sure hope that isn't a differently colored part of the floor. That might mean something. Look at this fun little place. Only authorized personnel beyond this point. But the floor is colored differently. Come on. Is for me. Oh, that thing. A spotted anaconda. Known for its world-class size and fiery temperament, this snake will make an easy meal out of a person. The longest one on record is 65 feet. This is a scale replica. Hmm, big anaconda, big snake. I'm usually okay around reptiles, but when there's this many, it's sort of scary. Seems to be watching me. A flood snake. It's believed by natives to cause great floods. It lives by the river's edge and uses its great strength to drag prey into the water. I can understand the language of snakes! I've brought many different kinds of snakes from various jungles around the world. All for this very event. Please take your time with the snakes! What a kooky, interesting, fun character. Omegasus, you're not the sign or a snake. Become a snake. Become a snake, Omegasus. Oh, I should be reading the signs in my bed. A Lothian Rhine Snake. It prefers dense wooded areas and can grow up to 15 feet long. Its venom is so powerful that it can take down an elephant. An Indra Snake. Due to its specialized neurotoxin, a person bitten by the Indra Snake will feel like they have been struck by lightning. Snakes are scary. There are all sorts of snakes here. I really hope no venomous ones escape, though. The temperature here is kept at 82 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity at 80%. Caution, the floor is slippery. An albino tree boa. These fierce and aggressive bows can swallow a person whole. Hmm. Fascinating. Old lady! It sure is a jungle in here with its heat and humidity. An inky python. With its all-black body, it waits for its prey in the darkness. Its venom is a powerful nerve agent. Were you able to spot it? 
I don't know. Why would you make the floor of your reptile exhibit all black? Welcome to Funland, Sonic. Sure is get sure gets tiring after a while. Want to take a break? Yeah, let's let's go outside then. I know a cute cafe nearby. Cafe? I've never been to one. Will I let two kids in there? <laughs> if you go with me, I'll be fine. Let's go. If you say so. This is where they went. Ah! Oh. Luna! What are you doing here? Uh, I am... What? Speak clearly. I was... Come on, Geo, let's hurry! Huh, what are you doing here, Luna? I... Luna, who are these children? He's one of my classmates, Geo, and I'm his friend, Sonia Strum. <laughs> Elementary school children out on a date? I can't say that I approve of such behavior. Hey, dumbass. That's a pop idol, a world star, a celebrity. <laughs> you know, your con your company would make a lot of money if they were endorsed by a celebrity. Stupid dumbass. Children have no business acting like adults and going on dates. If you have the time to play for ten, you should spend it studying and getting better grades. Oh. Hey, just because we're kids doesn't mean you can be downright rude to us, dumbass. I'm afraid being around children like these is truly negatively affecting our dear Luna. We should speed up our search for a better school. She doesn't even watch Sonya. And transfer her there at once. Transfer? What are you talking about? I'll tell you what we're talking about. So that Luna will have a bright future ahead of her. We are transferring Luna to a school with an environment better suited for studying and discipline. Once she moves there, she won't see rabble like you anymore either. I hope you will refrain from associating with Luna and corrupting her. You and your filthy father, that's enough. Be quiet, Luna. You will be a good girl and do as we say. No, I'm not yours or mom's doll. Luna. Let her go. I'll give her a stern talking to after we return home. I knew we should have transferred her earlier. You two get out of here and go home. You know, since the internet existed in this game, you could totally cancel them. What's that? Of all the... I know. What a pair of dumb, horrible bastards. I had to hold my tongue, actually. I almost done something bad. You should have fought back too, Geo. What's wrong? Did that old guy scare you? No, it's just... I've never seen Luna look that stressed before. I wonder if she's okay. That's true. Do you want to go check up on her? If you are, then you'd better hurry. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Bad feeling. Sonya, we've got to hurry. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, damn it, oh shit, fuck. Oh, I sure hope nothing bad happens. I hate them, I hate 
to both. You lie on their faces. You lie to their faces. You are the perfect daughter who can do anything. But where is the real you? Who's there? Oh, but here. It is I. Ow, 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 ow. The evil of Yuka. I am here to give you the power to break the bonds that tie you down. A monster. Don't be scared. I came to give you power. Actually, hold on. I'll be right back. I need to do something. Just give me, give me a moment. Oh no, shit. It is I, the Evil Reaper. I don't think anyone knows what reference that is. My overmunch Christmas crunch cereal. You think I'm going to fall for that? I've already had a few run-ins with monsters just like you. I see! So you've met other FMians before! In that case, I'll keep it short! Let me borrow your body! If you do, you can stop them from transferring you! What? You can stop them from transferring you! No, I heard that. However, if you don't let me in, I'm afraid it might be too late. But how? Boo! Show them your will! Make it crystal clear to your parents how you feel that you are not their little doll! I feel... That's right! Let me in! Open the door! Let me in! I can help you show them your true feelings! Stop! Don't let her in, Luna! Luna, stop! She just wants to use you! It's your choice whether you want to let me in! But if you don't, you won't be able to change a thing! Luna! I don't want to transfer to another school. I will make your wish come true! No! God damn it! Where'd she go? Look up by the sign. 
Don't try to stop me. Luna. She's in the Waverl inside the exhibit. We gotta hurry. Opiuka, huh? I'm sure she picked... I'm sure she... She should have picked a bad spot to show up. Bad spot? What do you mean? Well, bad for us. Good for her. Opiuka is a feminine who can control snakes. You know what's inside that exhibit. But she's having a blast in there. Gotcha. I'll be careful. <laughs> Sounds like something's happening. It'll be too late if we don't get in there. Arms going off. Look at all the snakes! Yikes! Snakes are extremely venomous! Is that over you can done now? Well, the only way to get through is through the way world. Right? Yeah. Oh, if only I knew where to pulse in in a time like this. Zoop! Goodness gracious, there's so many snakes. So many dangerous snakes in this horrible, perilous adventure. And if we look at what's going on with the snakes, what does it say? Careful, these snakes are all like venomous and shit. We've got a combination of venomous snakes and man-eating snakes. Gigantic snakes that can constrict you and bite you and eat you. And it's like, wow, what a very specific choice of, of perils. Oh wait, it's here! I need this! I have to grind these! Excuse me, sir! I need to grind you! It's funny, because, like... Anyway, uh, I now have Pegasus form at the start of every battle. Yippee! I need to grind in here for a little bit. They are probably gonna get sued. Probably. It was incredibly easy for all the snakes to escape. Look, I could use the Star Force, or I just have the one already equipped. It's like it don't matter. Ow! Okay, dick! Fuck you, explode! What do you mean S and I only get Zennies? What, do I have Zenny Finder on? No. Oh yeah, my stats too. Look at that. Plus four attack. Damn. I need to farm those like sewer guys. Cause that card, the card they give you, is the greatest card in the game. And it's so good that they had to nerf it in like other parts like other releases so much so it's a card that doesn't even show up in the third game fuck you eat shit too bad i can't touch these guys right here with the bubble combo. I want that blue. I'm about to blue.
why. This is the Tower of Uchiha. Ow. Okay. I stand corrected. Kinda stinko. Yeesh. weapon. Look, it's it's literally better by one point. <laughs> and now my charge shots could have paralysis, even though they are guaranteed to have uh, frozen. It's just convenient for me. So mean! Freeze! Bitch. God, I wish I had Card Finder, but that's not until the literal end of the game. Now, I wish I could encounter enemies faster, but this isn't Star Force 2. Swedge. Wow, that was cool. And only worth 400 zenny. Hmm. Is it more guaranteed in here? I mean, this one feels more like you just get the statues. Yoink. Yeah, I figured. Fuck you, die. Let's try the panda. Jet Attack 2 is cool, but that's not what I'm looking for. Also interesting to note, so like, this render of Mega on his screen, it, it looks like he's like, stout or short or something. He's not short. Like, in um in Star Force 3, you get a new render of him that actually shows off his posture. He's fucking tall. <laughs> like, he is also hot sex man. He is big gay man. Anyway, we're keeping the Ferrero Shea screen for this one. God I love Omegasus. Why is he so big man?
He's big man pilled. Paralysis, paralysis, paralysis. Freeze! Everybody clap your hands. Please give me the thing. I deserve it. Yay! I got this! Okay, we're one step further. That card is important because that card makes an already overpowered card even more strong. It's hilarious. Sticky Rain is not only a funny name for a battle card, but also literally the best card in the whole game. It's so good that in order to get Sticky Rain 2 and 3 in the second game, you have to play post game. Attack 2. Enough Jet Attack 2. I want Sticky Rain! Jet Attack 3. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. That, that's. You get a chuckle. You get a little chuckle from me. <laughs> Alright, you motherfucker. You think you're so clever. brain just had like a moment where it's like, where am I? In fact, what is this game that I am playing? What is a Mega Man Star Force? What is a Star Force and where can I find it? I wouldn't mind basically seeing this game for the first time again, but like, no. The brain should not rot while you're playing it. God, this game is my brain rot. I love it so much. I love it here. I don't- I don't ever want to leave, and I didn't. Cause now look at me. Now I have a waveform. I never left. The addiction ran through the rest of my life. Fuck you. Freeze! No. No more, no more Jet Attack 2. Give me Sticky Rain. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that there's like a card trader downstairs so I can trade all the excess, but like, I need this rain. Miserable little pile of power-ups. What is a pea chip? What is a mega chad? A miserable little power of guys. I don't think this can actually proc rate our missile too, so I'm gonna just heal and cut him in half or something. Oh, it could! Oh, dang. Haha, <laughs> one! Now I need two more. I need two. Just two more. It's such a small amount, but it's surprisingly hard to get. Or maybe not. 
I could be wrong. Why did I do that? I have a Gatling gun. It would have done way more damage if I kept it on. Dumbass. Hmm. Ow. Well, now I definitely don't feel like I'm gonna get it. Fuck. Jeez. sword guys though they're really fun but their star card kind of sucks so it's like they're cool but they're not the best What is a man? But a miserable little miserable little miserable little pile miserable little pile of secrets. Gamer. Damn. Aw oh man, I wish I got exactly two Zenny. That would be nice. I mean come on, it's palindrome day. It's four two two four. 42024 42024 42024 Hang on 420 2024 Holy crap, it's not only palindrome day, it's like hyper palindrome day. Happy weed day everyone. Happy 420 2024. Wow. What an accomplishment for humanity, looks at the rest of accomplishments. Eee. Hey, leave me alone! <laughs> leave me alone! Get out of here! Fuck you! I got a sword. His sword's actually not bad. It's not, like, the best, because the start card only gives it, like, the confusion element. But the weapon itself has break damage, and break damage is really good in this game. Against a lot of things, actually. It's a sword damage that does break element, which means it insta-kills anything that is apparently, like... Like, the, stat the sword statues instantly die from break damage, along with a couple of other types of viruses. And then sword... Swords are really good against an endgame virus. So it's like, oh, that's real nice. Aw, oh, damn it, I missed it. Oh well. I'll probably live. Ow. You eat your last haul, partner. Ow, never mind, fuck. <laughs> never fucking mind, you can take it. I'll take one of these. I mean, I saved up so many of them. <laughs> Where's all the gooeys? Where'd the fuck it go?
Eek, 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 ack, 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 ack. <laughs> no. Woo! Okay, that did get me a counter, which I did save a bunch of, but like, I, I do feel like I gotta save after it. So, stated earlier, but worth reminding, when you get a counter on an enemy, it logs it if you successfully like finish the battle and not die. It logs it in your database for viruses. Your database can be found on, on Omegasus' screen. It gives you the data on all item drops and locations of every virus that you can fight. Or at least that you have fought. If you counter a virus and delete them, it will be added to your database with a star next to it. By doing that, you can upgrade your power-up data. So countering enemies does get you a better power-up data. You just gotta update it, Mr. Famous. Mark 2? With Mr. 2? Please, I'm fucking dying. Ow! What the fuck? scary enemy. See you later. Ow! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Grits teeth and cries on stream. So upset. So upset. So mad. So grumpy. So angry. Mad. Come on, just one! Haha, <laughs> one. So 
setting. I gotta, like, do the Undertale genocide route, run along the wall and jitter until I fight an actual enemy strat now. It doesn't work like that. Actually, I never understood why people did that in Undertale. Why did they do that? Why did they jitter against the wall? What did it do? What strategic advantage does that provide? I must know! Ah. Yimmy! Okay, cool. I can stop grinding. Now we can move on with the actual story. But first. Let's add you, and you, and you, and you. One of you. Two of you. One of you. I guess. seems to be working pretty well. Damn. I need Gatling too. Uh, I have Jet Attack 3. That's actually really good. Oh, another quality of life thing. You may have noticed it next to Jet Attack. Those markers that indicate it does break and wind damage, those weren't in the original game. Those were added in the third game. This is so that the player knows that this does more than just normal damage. Helpful. One, two, three, four. They only use four star cards? Wow, I could like fit another one in there haphazardly. How many ghost pulses did I bring? Not many. None, in fact. Ah, I could do without long swords. Losing Edge is a better card. Chain Bubble is here. Wide Wave is also here. One less Gatling, one Wide Wave. Okay. We should be set. Now I gotta favorite the ones I wanna keep. and have equipped the best card in the game. Let's go actually do the event now. Meanwhile, inside the building, everyone's getting fucking eaten by snakes and killed. Everyone's like, no! Who will save us? Oh, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Sticky Rain is a low damage multi-hit attack. Emphasis on multi-hit. It's low damage, and its star card gives it double attack power. That is significant because it's affected by attack plus 10, which means this thing that does, I don't know, let's say like 60 damage, 80 damage, I think it hits like 5 times so this thing on base does 100 damage, it now does 200 damage, or like, you know, like 
like 300 damage. It can do a shit ton. And if your name is Taurus Fire, you're fucking dead. What is that smell? It's like a smell lingering. It's probably fish. So I can smell it coming from outside. But yeah, uh, the more you see Sticky Rain, the more you're gonna notice it fucking wipes the floor of the virus fights. It's like a free combo- it's like a free counter baiter, too. Oh no, those poor innocent civilians. Get out of my way. Those poor innocent civilians, if only there was a way to save them. There is. Ooh, heavy cannon, the final form of cannon. Yeah, here's an interesting thing. This is the only part of the map that actually has a wave hole that looks no different from the rest. Ta-da! Yeah, that's actually a surprise. Oh no! The snakes went crazy all of a sudden! Don't get near them, they're dangerous! What about the one right behind you that's incredibly venomous? Oh no! Ah! ah! Look guys, snakes! Check it out guys, those snakes are hovering in midair and squeezing those people. Those adult men and women. Your help! Ah! It hurts! We gotta do something. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Luna, wake up! Don't call me that! I have been reborn. You shall address me as Queen Opieka. I have a mind of my own, and I will prove it to these people once and for all. Draw Luna? Okay. Luna, explain! Why? Why do this to us? Two perfect human beings who do nothing wrong to our child we neglect. I'm not a doll. I'm not for you to play with as you like. To always say it's for your own good and decide everything by yourself. And on top of that, of your work, and I don't believe you see me at all. You value your work more than me, don't you? That's why I stopped being your daughter and started to live as a stranger to you. Stop saying such nonsense! If you were to actually look at me, you'd see that my suffering is far worse than what you're suffering right now. My darling snakes, squeeze them even harder and show them my pain. Yeah! Go! Stop! <laughs> Don't waste your breath, she's giving herself over to Ophiaka. She's not gonna listen to anyone else. Luna. If you don't stop your mom and dad are silence. That is enough out of you, I warned you. Come forth, my venomous ones, and stop those who oppose me. Ah! <laughs> yeah, no, a snake actually just jumps out and tries to kill Geo. What a fool to sacrifice yourself. Come forth, my darlings. Uh. Uh. Oh, 
she's loaded the dice on this one. We've got to retreat for now. I really hope Sonya's okay. Gotta find some way to help her in fast. I don't want to fight Ovika as long as she has a hostage, right? Of course not! We've got to take care of the snakes first. How are we gonna do that? How am I supposed to know? Snakes are earth creatures, you should know about them, but hang on. I have noticed a problem. Queen Ophiaca, the Ephemian that can control snakes. Snakes are an earth exclusive species. Does that mean Ophiaca was literally the most useless character up until she found out where Earth was and was like, Holy crap, I can control these things! Check it out! And how long has she been able to actually understand, Hey, I can control snakes on this planet! Isn't that crazy? My entire power is that I can do this thing on this planet that I don't live on natively. I, I feel bad for you. Shit. Being isekai was Ophiaka's best quality ever. Traveling to this planet to get back a shitty key is actually the best thing that could have happened to her. If you don't, then somewhere out there, someone out there does, so go ask him. Someone who knows about snakes. Oh! I have an idea who, let's go. Mmm, Ferrero Shay. Ooh, I was hit by a Utopian black rattlesnake. I can't go on like this. Professor Snake, is there a way to calm the snakes? That. I'm sorry. That's easy. Snakes are cold blooded. I can't keep the body temperature steady, so. If you lower the temperature, they won't be able to move and will calm down on their own. Lower the temperature, huh? I know, I'll ask the maintenance guy, he'll know what to do. Yes! The maintenance man was taking his lunch break. So he should be on the first floor. First floor somewhere. But if you want to find him, he's probably somewhere snakes won't go. Where are where with these things? Oh, right, the snakes are down there. Whoops. Whoopsie. Haha, Geo, you can't go that way. You'll get eaten. You fucking moron. You fucking moron. Yippee! Moogle icon! Yippee! Yeah, this is the snake scenario. There are no snake enemies, ironically enough. Despite everything, there are no snake viruses. Wow, oh, that fight sure was hard. <laughs> God, anyway, uh, yeah, welcome to the snake scenario. There are snakes everywhere in the mall. You need to find a way to... <laughs> yeah, the snakes are everywhere in the mall and attacking the elderly. Everyone's being attacked by snakes. Holy hell. If only there was a way to get this, the, the maintenance guy to give me the thing that stops the snake. It may be... I think what's funnier about the snake scenario is the fact that they were like, Queen Ophiaca has control over snakes. And then within the same scenario, Omegasus says out loud, Snakes are an earth creature. I wouldn't know about them. Which means that there are no snakes where Queen Ophiaca comes from. Which means... She doesn't 
have any strength outside of Earth. There are snakes here too! Pan's camera down as slow as possible, almost beckoning me to press the start button to skip the cutscene. Oh no, that poor civilian. Yeah, anyway, let's go to that. Gotta find the maintenance guy. He's got the card to control the thermostat. Has to be somewhere on the floor that the snakes can't go. Uh, if only there was a, a, a weirdly placed, out of place summer stand over here of a cold area. Let's get the fuck out of my way. Involving a woman in a bikini. Big booby lady. Sir, have you seen a scantily clad, clad naked woman on top of an igloo? She's the only thing that can save me. What? Harp no getcha! Bah! God, I love Sticky Rain. Everyone loves Sticky Rain. The moment they find out how good it is in this game, it's like, oh, the game's way easier. This game is surprisingly easy when you know the ins and outs. Smiles in person who has played this game like six times. And has known the ins and outs. Otherwise I wouldn't have done that. Hmm. Such a fucking jog! My god! The sword statue guys are sick. Like they're little statues and you walk from them and they jump at you. Okay, so rain hits six times, and it does 20 damage. That means the rain does 120 damage. When you double it with its star card, it does 240 damage. If you add 10, it adds 60 damage every time. So one attack plus 10 added to a to a rain is 180 damage. If you added, if you like doubled it and then added 10, that would make it do 300 damage in one go. That kills pretty much everything regularly. A 300 damage card. That is so easy to get. I went the wrong way. There's actually a card out there in post-game called Aqua Plus 50. As you could imagine, adding a plus 50 to Sticky Rain of any tier makes it way better. Snakes. Excuse me, naked lady in bikini, and other naked lady in bikini. I'm here to take your penguins. Anyway. Hey, are you in here, Mr. Maintenance Guy? Guess not. He's probably hiding somewhere else. Well, wait a sec! What happened? All of a sudden, there are snakes all over. Uh, I hid inside this egg right away. Sorry, but you have the thermostat's card, right? I need it right now. Please let me borrow it. Thermostat card? I have it, but what are you using it for? I'll explain later. Right now, people's eyes are at Snake. Uh, I see. Here, please take. Did you say at Snake? What the fuck? This is serious. Take it seriously. Yes, thank you. I don't know what's going on, but take care.
<laughs> Aw, he's cold. <laughs> if you're cold, they're cold. Let them in. The viruses. Well, virus, what's your weakness? You're some crabs? And oh, actually, that's a huge damage amount. However, I have rain. <laughs> Look at the damage! <laughs> the fucking damage was insane. That's not what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Oh shit. If that's where you get that one, I feel like I got the wrong one then. Guess I gotta check outside. Sorry, everyone. I know the snakes are everywhere, but- Oh, I can't go outside. I know the snakes are everywhere and threatening to do everything to everyone, but like, I gotta get a sword. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, that's a big one. I'll be fine. Uh, I might not be as fine as I thought. Um, we're living. No big drop? No Mao, I had one star card? Whatever. Snakes. They're everywhere. No more snakes! Ooh. Okay, that'll make this fight easier. Gotcha. Get frozen in time, bitch. Bye bye. Thanks for the free counter. I love sticky rain. It gets free counters. <gasps> Sword. My boy. You are my boy. You are my friend. Well, I can get rid of the Wide Wave Star now. Bye! Have a nice fall! You stupid shit! <clears throat> what would up to? I guess Heavy Cannon, yeah. And this card that surprisingly won't come out yet. Hmm? You're a bit of a spoiler. It's okay, I need a lot of things anyway. Fight your bazooka. A power bomb three, sad. Oh, there we go. Yeah.
One last virus fight. Ooh, pretty. I always like the uh, the Melamander virus family type. They're really cool looking. They look way better in model than they do on the cards. So rude. Recovery. The big recovery. I can use that if I need it. Oh, not here. Huh. Digital, I, I, I beg the question, do you mean, like, the regular fight, or do you mean the deluxe edition fight? Because this, this versions is way worse. Like, when you look back, Queen Opiaka in, like, regular superior form, hard. Queen Opiaka in first form in deluxe edition? Fuck, dude. Where is the... Where's the exit? Um... I'm lost in the reptile exhibit. Um, what the shrimp? Oh. Tartar song. Now we can move on. Queen Opieka! Aren't you a persistent one? No matter. In the entire star f Oh! Then digital, do I have a show for you? Because this is hard mode. I'm playing on legend difficulty. We are playing the hard mode version of this game. So this is basically way harder than that. Try as you like, you won't stop me. If you make one move, those snakes will be helping themselves. Some tasty Sonya scrum. I'm not going to let you get away with anything. Thermo card! Card in! <laughs> Jack in! Thermo man! This fight, this this design's actually pretty awesome. He's like a he's like a bunny thermostat. And I actually think he's like one of the better character designs. Well, I'd draw him. He's fun. Do I make it hot? Do I make it cold? Or do I blow air on everything? If I make it hot, everyone will fucking die. Let's crank up the chill! <laughs> no! The temperature is dropping and the world is shaking as this buff bunny man poses! Oh, digital. No. Instead, I believe all the snakes are given super armor. Uh, every attack does poison on you, and she leaves behind poison panels. So actually, it's way worse. Way worse than turning into stone. It's constant poison damage. No, oh, my snakes, they're turning into poop. <laughs> my precious snakes have gone into hibernation. You have a lot of nerve. Temperature regulation complete. Bye-bye. Queen Ophiaca. No, I mean Luna, please stop. All of your snakes are asleep now and you can't use them to hurt anyone anymore, except for your parents who are still being hurt up there. Shut up! I won't let you or anyone stop me. Ooh. 
she's gone. Cheering off into that giant Robo Snake's computer. What about Sonya? The snakes aren't here aren't a threat anymore. Sleeping Beauty can stay where she is for now. Her royal snakeness comes first. Okay. I think my being tired of streaming for the day is starting to set in, but that's okay, we just have one more dungeon. Excuse me. Hang on, I'll be right back. Fuck, why is it slowing down like that? Anyway, Mega Man! Let's save the world from some fucking snakes! There was a green... I want the green... Get the green gem, the, the fabulous green gems! Play as Mega Man and collect the green gems to save the world from evil! Private mob. I love this design, it's so silly. Anyway, uh, let's kill him with rain. A risk of it, in fact. Time for the funny snake dungeon. Good heavens, but you look at this fucking design. I'm not a fan of the music of this dungeon. But, uh... One thing I can say. The design of this dungeon... Which I find very funny... Does not imply snakes immediately, unless you were to look at, like, the gimmick. It's more jungle-themed, and I think the funniest part is, like, even the background doesn't have snakes. It's just predatory plants. And up there, you see a, uh, a mouse jumping into a pitcher plant. This is essentially this game's four dungeon. Hum. To all the vor, to all the vor furries out there, this is the dungeon that plays the music when you get vored. I guess. But what are those snakes? Maybe okay. More importantly than myself is that door there. You know, I thought that they made hearts as kind of weird in this game when they fell on the floor, because like instead of being round, they have like a weird baby head. How much harder does hard mode make Andromeda? Okay, that's an interesting case, because I've actually played both the or like the. Like a pre-patched version of Andromeda Hard Mode, and the patched version. I will say the patched version of Andromeda in Deluxe Edition, in Legend Mode, makes him way less harder than I thought. He has only a couple new aspects to his attacks, but it's actually pretty much the same as the original fight. But then Andromeda in like the pre-patched Hard Mode is fucking impossible. It took me 47 tries to beat him. 47 out of- 1 out of 47 times, which admittedly, compared to what 2 out of 
one out of 50, not bad. <laughs> but like, kind of same, dude. That's hard mode. Yes, you're poisoned. I need to find the antidote. Ooh, if only I knew where to get it. In this fucking jungle gulf. Look at the rocks! Whee! If only I had something to burn all this grass. Whoa, what the fuck? Oi. Hey. Hey. Cut that shit out. Fire sword. A ball of electricity. Changing the grass stage. Make it rain on him. Oh, you killed me with rain! You get my lance! If I collect enough lances, I'll make a folder out of them and make the Gungnir combo. I didn't even see what I grabbed, but I think it was important anyway. Antidote! One question I have about the first Magnus or first game is this. Why is it hard to find any boss reason? Well... Sonya is a unique one because she didn't really have, like... She didn't have time to set up a dungeon. Because you kind of chase after her immediately when, he, when she strikes. In this case, Queen Ophiaca was literally next to an auto- like an already preserved dungeon. Anyway, let's hope a uh, snake doesn't attack us in these areas. Oh no, snake! Ah! Now I'm poisoned, and the only way to get unpoisoned is to get to the end, and I don't care. I have so much health. I can be hit by every single one of these gimmicks, and it won't matter. Because I can just run to the front, and I'll get healed. But I do get damaged in the cutscene if I waste my time, so it's actually better if I... Oh, I guess I don't, but still. You may have noticed, grass viruses, or any grass element, heals on grass panels. No one cares if you just beat the shit out of them faster than they can heal. Oh, I gotta do this first. Uh, snake bit me. Ooh, my stummy hurty. Ooh, I'm so full of venom. <laughs> oh, that's a big guy. If they put hard mode in Mega Man Star Force 2, that just means they would turn off, like, the auto-tribe function. You would just have to play through Star Force 2 without any upgrades, and then maybe they'd make the AI a bit better. That's it. Except they're not gonna do it, which they shouldn't. So instead they had a pseudo-deluxe patch that just made the game not as bad gameplay-wise. It's still a horrible mess story-wise. It doesn't fix the story, but it fixes the overworld, so it's less shitty. As for, um, what was it? Star Force 3, if they had a hard mode, I couldn't begin to imagine. Because post-game in Star Force 3 is already hard mode. Like, holy fuck. Hard mode in Star Force 3. 
away. Get the fuck away from me. You and your funny lance that stabs me. I'm trying to get some poison recovery. Some healer. Careful, Geo. This dungeon has poisonous elements, and if you get hit by the obstacles, you'll take damage. You gotta stealth segment your way through, is what I would have been doing if I were a bitch. I'm not. This dungeon's easy. It's kind of like Libra Scales' dungeon, where you can kind of just, like, blow your face through all of his obstacles, and it's not bad. Like, all that matters is just you pop a deluxe heal at the end of the dungeon. Oh no! Ah! Uh... Ooh! Ah! Uh... watch a cutscene to watch a door open. We're just gonna go. There's a blue. Yeah, thanks to the fact that this dungeon can be easily muscled through, especially when you have the health power-up, it's way easier. This is actually a surprisingly easy dungeon. It, it's not tedious. The, the top three worst bosses in Star Force, huh? Okay. Uh, in terms of actual coding, I would have to say... I could easily pull it from, like, each game, too. Uh, Dark Phantom, especially in the second game. Dark Phantom... Uh... No, yeah, I think I got it. Dark Phantom, Yeti Blizzard, and Club Strong. That last one seems a little weird, because it's like, isn't he from, like, third game? Don't you love the third game? Yeah, but I've fought him so many times that I've literally, like, realized, wow, this guy is really easy to fight. Like, easier than every other boss in the whole game series. He's predictable, and easy to hit. And easy to counter, honestly, if you know your timings. But as for Yeti Blizzard, annoying. Dark Phantom, even more annoying. I hate him the most. He's the worst fight and the worst character. He's, he's so awful. I'm, I'm upset he's there. The Phantom of the Opera is my least favorite character in the whole Star Wars franchise. Anyway, snakes. I grabbed it, right? I didn't. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, I sure hope the giant robot snakes don't hurt me as I run into them. Crazy. Queen Ophiaca would have been nice. Uh, you know who else would have been nice? Uh, Plesio Pl Surf, Plesio Wave, whatever his name was. Plesio Surf, yeah. Plesio Surf was actually a pretty decent boss. Even even Terra Condor is a decent boss. But I won't even begin to talk about how much I hate Terra Condor's stage. Ooh, that's a heated thing to talk about for me. I would get so mad.
Like, I played through all three games to completion. I will tell you, hate the second. Every part of the second. Character designs are okay, but that's as far as, like, character designs are okay for, a, like, a lot of it. And not great. They're not great designs. They're okay. They pass. NPC designs? Foul. Horrible. W could do way better. Fuck you. Well, Terra Condor stage is bad because it's like the worst form of padding I've ever experienced. Yeah, you have to go and find this guy on the other side of the room, then you have to bring him to this side of the room, and if you fail to hide while this extremely fast rocket is coming at you, you'll automatically lose all progress in that specific part of it. Enjoy walking through this maze of big-ass open platforms. Nothing to indicate where to fucking go. Like, even... even... Plesio Surf had a fun gimmick to it. As tedious as it was to get to Plesio Surf, the gimmick wasn't bad. Oh, my eyeball! It itchy! Careful, Geo, the snakes are here. Oh no! Ah, uh... uh, so scary. Ah, uh... anyway, Yeah, for something that even feels like a like a maze type of dungeon, this isn't really that hard to navigate. Cygnus Wing stage is fine. Jack Corvus doesn't have a stage. Yeah, Jack Corvus never had a stage. Oh no, the snake attack. Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, right. You You know, it begs the question, why can't you just go over the gate? I know it's implied there's many reasons why you can't, but like, I mean, you're digital. Uh. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Ow. Good thing that the poison and taking damage from this stage's gimmick won't actually kill me. Well, here we go. Watch yourself, Geo. You don't want to instantly die. I won't. Watch. 
Ow. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> there is no threat here. I will live forever. The venom. You have to help me. The venom is pulsing through my veins. It's replacing my blood in every orifice. There's a purple. No, no. Don't pretend like I didn't see that. There's a purple. Can I purple? I could. Hold on, I gotta go purple. Bing, 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 bing. Ah, right. Ow. <laughs> Thud. Why he orple? Why he wormple? Look, there's the boss door. I just gotta heal two more people that are struck in with poison. <laughs> you must save my son. He's dying from the poison. Finally, I have the vision to see my house. Okay, that makes the fight easier. Heal? No. <laughs> Is for me? You got the answer, Joe. I wonder what that means. Watch out, Geo. Ah! Ah! Haha, <laughs> whoa, this guy's kind of dangerous. Hang on. Well, I mean, like, I only have one health, and, like, the gimmick of the dungeon can't kill you. 
so it's just like it's like haunted house rules where it doesn't really matter anymore. You're fine. You'll be fine. Which is funny too, because it's like if you do get hit, you get inflicted with poison that kills you slowly, but it's like no. Look, there's a dungeon boss. Remember everyone, that's an elementary schooler. Be on your best behavior or you're going to fucking jail. Jumbo hammer. Careful, Geo. The snakes are back. One lat. One more round of snakes and ladders. Well, that was hard. Wow, that was tough. <laughs> that sure was close. I could have died. Well, guys, we're at the final push. And I will need this whole deluxe energy for this fight. I could have healed it all back the normal way, but like, dude, no, I'll need it for this fight. Holy shit. Here we go. Ophiaca. Let Luna go now. Mega Man? So, you show yourself at last, you Megasis. I could smell your stench coming from this girl a miles away. I thought maybe taking her over would force you out of hiding. And look, here you are. Guess you're still the same arrogant creep. Think it's time I taught you a lesson. Come on, Ophiaca, take your best shot. Sounds like you haven't changed either. Why don't you calm down and let's talk business, shall we? You want to talk business? That's right. The Andromeda key that you have, why don't we use it together? We can destroy this planet, just the two of us. You know as well as I that without the key, it won't work. It needs two items to work, the key you have, and the controller the FM King has. If you join forces with me, I can share charm the FM King into handing the controller over to us. And then Planet FM's ultimate weapon of destruction, Andromeda, will be ours. And what if I were to turn down your offer? I'm afraid I'd have to use force on you. But I don't think you'll refuse. And that's where you'd be wrong. I have no interest in ruling this planet. The only thing I'm interested in is bringing an end to all of you FMians. Looks like I failed in my negotiations. Now I've got to use brute force, it seems. You'll regret turning down my offer. Ha! <laughs> Here she comes. Hiya! This design is cool though. Anyway, this fight's not cool. <laughs> this design's awesome. This fight sucks. Let's go. Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah! <laughs> I biffed it! Now I'm poisoned. Look how much damage I took. That's over a hundred already. Ah, beans. Ah, beans. This fight's really gonna suck. Hi, Aeolus! I'm live! Maybe not for that long, but I'm live. Shit. Nah. 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 <laughs> this fight sucks. It is based as fuck, but like, man, this fight sucks. Just make it a little easier. Hey! 
I'm about to beat her. I might, I'm actually almost done. Hang on. Here I go. Yippee! 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 It took me like 12 times to beat her first time. Wow, I didn't even use Sticky Rain for that. That was impressive. That was just genuinely impressive. <sighs> hmm. Just give up already. You've lost. Ophiaka, let Luna go. Hmm. I don't think so. I'm taking the girl with me. Wait, you can't. Someone who doesn't know when to give up. What a pitiful sight you are. Gemini, is that you? Gemini? We can't take on the two of them together. Good timing, Gemini. Come here. Help me finish off the traitor. <laughs> Yes, there is fighting off, finishing off to do. Mega, where is Gemini? I don't know, but I, don't, I do know we're in its firing range. Gemini, hurry! <laughs> Impatient, are you? All right then. Gemini Thunder! Ow! Ow! Gemini, why? <laughs> Omega sis, or should I say Mega Man? The time for our battle is drawing close. Until then, take good care of their Andromeda key, won't you? Why did you do that, Ophiaka? Why did you do that to Ophiaka? She was in my way, I suppose. I have my own agenda, so remember this. Next time, my Gemini Thunder will be for you. He's gone. There's one nasty Ephemian. Uh, Luna! Luna, hang in there. <gasps> Mega Man! I did some really terrible things. What should I do? Wasn't your fault. You were just too weak to let the Ephemian in. It's okay now. Your mom and dad fainted, that's all. Hey. That blast from before made this comp space really unstable. Better get out of here. If you don't, we're able to turn to the wave world with the girl in tow. Damn it. Luna, I'm afraid I have to go. Mega Man! How can I make it up for what I did? Wait, wait a sec! The comm space is disappearing. Mega Man! Mega Man! Mega... Geo! No way! No way! This is a joke, right? I can't believe that... You! You're Mega Man! I'm sorry for not telling you. Do you mean it? Ugh. Father! <sighs> Mother! Luna. We've had the strangest dream. A dream where you were crying. You were saying, look at the real me. We really, we were really hurt by you in the dream. We were being squeezed so hard that the pain was almost unbearable. We were being choked by the chains of your suffering. We're not going to transfer you, Luna. We're really sorry. Forgive us. Father. Mother. Looks like everything's gonna be okay. So if you all will excuse me. Wait up, you. 
Yes, ma'am. So, how are your mom and dad? They're fine. They're looking around at some of the shops. What I want to say is, um, thanks for saving me. I still don't believe it, but you really are Mega Man, aren't you? Yeah. Well, don't get any funny ideas. I've always liked Mega Man, and I will always like him, but I have zero feelings for you, got it? I didn't know you liked Zero so much. What are you smiling at? I knew it. You're thinking something weird. What? I'm not thinking something weird. I'm thinking something weird. So, you want to become one? Become what? You're so dense. A brother. What else? But it's a big responsibility. You'll know all of my secrets, and you'd better be serious. I understand. You know my secret, too, after all. Where are we gonna register Luna? Bottom. Bottom tier. You get float shoes. It nullifies poison panels. Yeah, that would've been helpful earlier. Before this. Oh, well. So, brother to brother. That girl, Sonya Strum, are you going out? Going out? <laughs> no, we're, we're just friends, that's all. Oh, I see. What? Anyway, why did you come here, Luna? Why should I have to tell you? I just felt like it. Oh, and before you forget, you're the teacher's helper tomorrow, so don't be late. I know already. As long as you know, well, see you tomorrow. Geo, did you get forget about me completely? Sonia, you okay? What happened to the venom? Professor Snake gave me an antidote, so I'm okay. But if he had given it to me even a little later, he might not have made it in time. Sorry. What kind of brother are you? To forget someone who was bitten by a venomous snake. Well, I didn't forget about you. I just, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> well, if you treat me to a Sunday, then maybe I can forgive you this once. What? What? Please, leave me alone. Okay, that's it for school for today, kids. Make sure you all go straight home. Now that should be everything. Let's go home. Happy Geo makes me happy. What's new on the email? Too bad our shopping trip was interrupted like that, but there's always next time. Maybe someplace a little quieter? Now too. Really is this you okay, Luna? You look kind of ill. It's, it's, it's nothing. 
Come on, let's get going. Oh! I have a call on my transfer. Hang on, something's going on. It's fine. It's just freaking out. Okay, lol. Sorry, YouTube. Anyway. Hello? Geos. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Geo Stellar. I want to show you something interesting. So, come to Times Square right away. Huh? I know you are, Neganan. that all about? No idea, but it's worth finding out. Let's go see what's up in Times Square. Okay. Hey! Something happened? Well... Something dangerous? I don't know yet, but for now I'm gonna go check out Times Square. H hey! What? Be careful, okay? <laughs> you don't have to worry about me! I'm not joking! You're my brother, so I have to. Thanks. I'll be back. It's you! I'm gonna fucking kill you now! Let's go finish this up, and then we'll call it a night. I mean, hell, I got a lot done. Two dungeons, and and a filler arc, and a minor grind, uh, a tiny grind session. What's happening here? What's going on? Bet you didn't know I've always hated you. Just hearing your name makes me mad. Fight. Hey, Gio, put on your visualizer. Oh, yeah. What's that? Those are some strange Reddit waves around them. <laughs> Upvote? Is that, like, positive? Plus, is that, like... <laughs> yeah, because Ferrer Rocher is, like, super good. Anyway, I should eat a Ferrer Rocher right now. I have... I have four uneaten ones. Let's make it three uneaten ones. The other three will be for tomorrow's stream. Uh-oh! There's a stream tomorrow! Surprise! Yeah, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. How fun. Hmm. No. Oh. Ugh. Oh, Ferrero Shay. Oh! Oh! Oh, Ferrer Rocher. Oh. Mm. That person on the phone said that they wanted to show you something interesting, right? Maybe they meant these things. You're probably right. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> They let it get to their heads, therefore became evil Redditors. Uh-oh, that's a little bit menacing. The frames are dipping? What? What the fuck is going on with the YouTube studio? What the fuck is going on with OBS? Am I really hitting my limit? OBS, are you okay? I feel like you've had enough. I get it. We'll be done in like a minute. Just let me finish this. Anyway, check out this guy. His cheeks are on display. Dude, put that thing away. There are like kids here. Damn.
Oh, I overshot it. Yeah, I'm I'm finishing up. I I can tell it's hitting its limit. I'm finishing. Let's get let's get fast. Boy, don't you look suspect. <laughs> You're finally here, Mega Man. Are you the one behind those Reddit karma waves? It's the power given to me by a certain redditor. I was given the task of destroying all brother bands by making brothers fight each. We get it. Tip. You're uh small. Hi. Well, that's that. Hello? So, did you enjoy watching Brothers fight? It's the person from before, shocking. As you just saw, all I'm doing is exposing the fake things in this world. Fake things like Brother Vance, for example. Who in the world are you? Me? I pray. He hung up. You ever heard of this Ray person? No, never. There's nothing we can really do, huh? It's all that we can do for today. Yeah. Stop calling me! And how? Mail! Hey, Geo, check it out. It's from one of those satellite admin guys. Geo Stellar. It appears that you have formed yet another brother band. Allow me to test how much you have grown. I will be waiting for you at the- We'll do that later.